morning. Everything should be up and running. Yeah, there we go. Hello. It's kind of said that it clashes with Pacific. I'd like to watch at whatever toilet bowl's happening in the moment. But I guess it sort of worked out. Um, um, anything else I need to do? I tried, like, set it up to go live on TikTok, but it's a whole, whole other thing. I could probably do with some, um... Hey, Geekess. Thank you for the sub. Good morning. You missed um yesterday, but in all honesty, like it wasn't wasn't in the, the best stream from me. Like I wasn't really like happy with it. I mean, it, it just felt really like difficult for whatever reason. But um, like I think it was more. It felt bad, but I sort of knew that like you know it's uh, a long one. It was odd hours for me. Yeah, I mean on a weekday like 10 a.m. How loud am I? Test, test, test. I'm not that loud again for some reason. Is this saved? Maybe I just need to... Test, test, test. That feels a lot better. And like trying to do um, Discord and stuff with Sling and TMV was a little bit difficult. Because it sucked I wasn't there, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't feel like ready for it, I guess. How to describe. But yeah, like trying to sort out for TikTok is kind of difficult. Alright, that's live. I think me doing it on the sh other channel is probably good for shorts. And I think this should be okay. Uh, that's public too. So, stream. I hope it'll be better for you today. Yeah, I think it will. I think it, like the fact that clashes with Pacific is kind of frustrating, but. In itself, it also provides like a lot of like opportunities, I guess. The problem is, is that this song is gonna get me copyright. So let me just, I'm not even gonna watch it. As much as I like it, like it's just gonna get me copyright struck. Just off the rip. So, um, we'll have to wait for <laughs> Clove to stop singing and dancing. Uh, anything else I want to do? I think... We, uh... Prioritizing VCT China when it clashes with Pacific. Go watch the give you an order specific. I think that's fine. It's unable to pin something went wrong. Interesting. Uh, there we go. All right. I think that's fine. Everything else is good. The song is really good. Like, I think it's by Mads, right? But um, I noticed it when I was looking at the grand final um, VOD from Madrid, and it was just gone. I just fully copyrighted, which I don't think I'd ever had before. So, I want to go careful. 
I also don't blame Riot for being a little bit careful with those kind of things. Um, but yeah, we got eight minutes, so we'll use that eight minutes to like look at this um, series. So the first one is DRG versus All Gamers. It's actually a game that we've seen already happen in kickoff because it uh, happened here. A very one-sided series. The first map was kind of close. I think it was 13-11 for DRG. And so we saw some like good stuff out of uh, all gamers, specifically the two players that came from Attacking Soul, Abundant and Monk. Uh, these were the players that I think you'd hope at least were the ones to sort of grab this team, be the supporting spots, uh, and kind of go from there, right? But it was sort of everything else. Spitfires was left a lot to be desired on Sentinel. Like played some Duelist too, which it sounds like he's doing full time now. The Del B is going to be on the Sentinel. And Spitfires is going to be Duelist, so maybe that helps them a little bit more. So yeah, DRG versus All Gamers uh, like should be very strongly leaning for Dragon Rangers there. But yeah, Sunset Ascent Icebox was the map veto last time. I'd imagine it'd be something similar, but obviously. A lot of time has like changed in there. Hey Saint, thank you very much for the three months. You watch other regions or not? I mean, I will watch Pacific when it's on and China isn't, but as of right now, I'm just watching China because, you know, not much of a focus on it. So, uh, there was a, uh, another press conference. I think I should just follow Team and Dog. Um, where's submitted? And also I can move you over there. Wait, is this not live yet? Uh, no, it's not. So where am I streaming to? It's a question. Let me fix this real quick. Um, Remove this one. Got you, got you. Yeah, I need to make like a little like calendar thing, but essentially it's like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll do China. Saturday, Sunday, it clashes with Pacific. And then Monday, Tuesday, we'll do Pacific. And then Wednesday, Thursday, I guess Wednesday be a bit of a, uh, a day off. And first day, we can catch up on any VODs that we missed. Just sort of see how it goes from there, I guess. Um, just take it a step at a time. So yeah, for the first series at least, Sodline rating his team cohesion, said 50 marks during kickoff, now it's 80. Uh, yeah, and also AG didn't make any like roster moves. Like, they came dead last in um, kickoff. But I think they had the harder group. One of the teams that they played was DRG, and then they played up against... Who would it have been? Who did... It was in their first game, and then all gamers lost to JDG. Yeah, so like two really difficult opponents. So having to play both of those in a group is kind of tricky. Um, JDG versus Edward Gaming is going to be amazing later. I'm almost hoping that this first series is quite quick, so we can just get like straight into it. That's the hope. And there's like loads of data that I need to put in. Um, for DRG, they made a roster move. They had Dingwei in as their like sort of silver player. Played main initiator, but a bit, bit of Viper when he needed to. Um, he's been benched, and he's brought in. A player that was benched before for this. So basically, Xion was on the team before. Xion was benched in place of Dingwei for Ascension. The AG won Ascension. Now they're here. They're benching Dingwei again and putting Xion back in the roster. So I guess like a bit more experience, a bit more composure at the top level. G versus Ata just made me sad. Hope trying to Gibbs will be more fun. Uh, what is the first map done? Because we can like actually put that on in the background. I was just going to put Sliggy Stream on, like, watch party through him. 13-1, fucking hell. 
Nice performance for uh, Phoenix, though. Almost 400 ACS. Had some hope of similars for GE. Who do you think wins out DRX versus Secret? It should be DRX, right? But we've seen so many times Team Secret win those kind of series. Especially very early on in it, like, year. And they won it last time, right? Like, at least one of the times that they played last year, I remember. Because it was the one Team Secret game that I missed. So naturally, because I'm missing this series and I'm not watching Team Secret because I'm watching China, that's when Team Secret's going to beat the RX. But I think that's just how it works, right? Uh, press conference highlights, yes. Let's do it. So Sword9, only thing that was apparently said is just they looking a bit more cohesive. Uh, Why Chen, uh, Why Yu Chen, not to be mistaken from the player Why H Chen, who plays for JDG now. Uh, he's the assistant coach. So the team's made roster changes and added in new strats. He thinks that the team could achieve good results as they didn't have enough strats before, and it's a lot better now. Yeah, I mean they were just like five man hitting, executing on sides, weren't they? Um. Uh, T Virus Loot mentioned that the team has added in a new player, which was Xion in place of um, Dingwei. Lineup's not changed much, so I guess the rules would be similar. As the team is currently practicing strats and scrims, they require the team to communicate more, which is really difficult for them, as they have an import player. Yeah, but I think like there's a lot of strategies that you can do that don't doesn't require Vukashi to really do anything. Like if he's playing Killjoy, he'll know where to molly. It's just about timing, right? It's not like he has a recon or a flash that he needs to time well. But yeah, they have an import player, so they're working hard to improve communication with Vukashu. Uh, TZH thinks that the main improvement the team has made is that they're able to run more comps to deal with more situations. As compared to kickoff, where they were helpless and would just rush the site. Very true. When faced against something they never played against. That's also not really true. They, Regardless of who it was against or what map, a lot of stuff that they did was just like full five-man executing onto a site. The addition of Xion will allow them to pick more stuff and face various situations. Interesting. I guess we can look at like the um, agent pool. It's kind of confusing because now you've got Xion that's like a main controller player. You've got TCH, who's mostly like Viper but can play Astro Omen. And then you have got. Who's the other controller player that I had? I've gone blank. I'm trying to remember it before I have to look it up. Not sure, actually. I guess it would just be TCH. So you got two. I thought there was three control players, but. Might be thinking of another team. Um, T Virus League wants to face FPX because DRG always loses against FPX, so he wants to get his revenge. As for EDG, they've always represented VCT China in international competitions, so as long as DRG beats them, they have a chance to make it to an international event. That's true. Um, but there's so many teams in China that are beating EDG in the season, but they're not beating them either in qualifying games or for uh, like grand finals and stuff, right? Um, Trace, do we look at this or do we save this for Trace tomorrow? I guess we save this for Trace tomorrow. Um, I'm curious on EDG though. Uh, after the head coach, we've gained some experience and learned some lessons from Masters. We've been practicing for a week. Uh, let me just do this as well, just to move this down. Um, where is it? We've been practicing for a week since we came back. We haven't prepared much. It's the format slightly different and there's only one match per week. We can slowly build up our strats over the split. 
it's roughly the same we've made some adjustments to player roles and the team's playstyle and the playstyle may become more defaulty and it'll no longer be as loose and disciplined like we used to thank you shouldn't have taken you getting battered at um madrid to make that change you should have been looking at making this style happen when you were losing to like rare atom and trace last year i think vct china still has a lot of i think that vct china still has a lot of uh taking us as an example our defeat in madrid came down to losing a few clutch situations or due to like on the spot decision making we aren't as calm as decisive as compared to teams from other regions very true i think we're at least on power with other regions when it comes to coming up with game plans before the matches we're not getting wrecked but we're severely lacking in those clutch situations or on the spot communication see i think that's the opposite i think that that's what edg are really good at is doing stuff on the fly and winning out clutches you can do those in the big series in fact that's what enables you to beat trace and fpx in finals and qualifying games it's just more like i want to see them try to take control of the game like lead with the default you set the tempo you set the pace of how you want this map to be played like you want to be manipulating your opponent to do things that you want them to do and then you throw them into traps like that's what i want to see from edg i want to see them like like for example on attack ascent do a lot of stuff towards mid early and condition the enemy to think that like edg are gonna fight for mid and then once you've done that you've realized they're trying to fight and push you a lot more that's when you start to do other stuff but like edg everything they do is super telegraphed and it's it's not like they need to fake more it's more they need to do things in a certain order to really pay like force the other team to make awkward decisions i watched the fpx game and they also lost a lot of key rounds due to clutch situations i think that's just like discipline from them i think that what stopped fpx from doing well is a little bit different from edg uh, love to see in streams whatever thank you lee sorry i just saw that message have you gained anything what's your expectations from the domestic uh teams in the new spot it's definitely been a quite a bit of growth good i think that how the in-game content is formed is related to how tactics are set mm, true we approach the international stages of learning experience and gain quite a bit from it i'm really glad to hear that With many familiar faces from domestic teams coming up to form a team i think we'll see more diverse styles and changes they've also always been watching us on the international stage so they probably gain something different from just watching the match i mean i'd hope so i'd hope that all of the other china teams would look at edg's loss and go wait they're so good <laughs> like what caused them to lose and if they could just incorporate things of teams like loud like sentinels <clears throat> like kc less paper x because i think that's a trap the china teams could easily fall into going yeah we could do that you can only paper x can do that shit but the other top teams across all of the regions stealing their defaults comps just watching them and sitting there and going why does the fade play on um b now on defensive lowers instead of playing a like leo used to do a lot who caused that change like that adjustment in the meta why are they haunted this position instead of this one like, I think that's what EDG needs to do is just watch VODs and just go, why are they doing this instead of that? And then really work out um, why teams are making things instead of going, oh, they're uh, haunting this position now instead of this one. Let's just copy them. It's um, the best example I can give. Um, this is from my buddy, One Amongst Many. <coughs> when he used to do a lot of Overwatch coaching, there used to be a lot of people that would play like soldier 76 and go on the high ground like it used to be almost a meme of like if you play soldier 76 get onto high ground and nobody knew why it was just like oh i need to play on the high ground but there's so many people that didn't realize like what's so important about soldier being on the high ground when shouldn't you be on the high ground right like it's just like people are just embedded certain rules into their brain of what to do but they don't really understand why they should be doing it so they don't understand when it's important to be doing this and also when it's important to not be like falling into those certain rules and it, it's something that stuck with me for ages of just it's all right knowing why you should default on b as a killjoy on ascent um 
but you understand why you're there and when you should change to A, that's what separates you from like being like knowledgeable on the game versus maybe being an expert. When you have all of the context, right? I'm not saying, oh, you play A on Killjoy when you have ultimate so you can play retake, therefore you know everything about Valorant, but I guess what Sleggy does well with his watch parties of just keep it on top of the changes and knowing instantly why changes are being made instead of like oh they've moved here look at the ultimates oh that's why uh i don't know what has changed i could be more aware of both our strength for the strength of the other teams after losing because after we beat them once loud played very well in the second and third rematch and that was even after they lost their carry I don't think a lot of changes took place because losers into loud isn't that bad of a thing itself. I see what Kung Kung's saying, but I do think the way that they lost speaks volumes. Um, and that's not something that I think you can pawn off. It's like Fnatic had turned around and be like, well, losing to Team Heretics isn't that bad of a thing itself. It's like, yeah, but... Masters Madrid is a new chapter in our career, and year 2024 is also a new chapter for us. Our losses to first competition only serves as a reminder for us to work harder. Uh, I also haven't changed much, it's okay, as long as we can translate that stuff we pulled off in scrims on stage. Don't really like that too much, um, but we didn't do so in those matches. I'll come back to why I don't like this. I also think that we don't have to make any changes, we just need to be ourselves. Uh, again, I get what they're saying, but I think it's a very slippery slope. The reason why I don't like this is because I can imagine if you're scrimming teams like other teams from China, either in tier 2 uh, or in tier 1 in the other groups. Um, also playing in Pacific teams. It's just going to be a lot of teams that will play in scrims very differently to how they play officials. It was a thing in Europe as well. Like, I think No Pinky was the biggest example of being scrim demons. Uh, I know that teams didn't like to scrim Noel Penke. I don't mind saying this because it's like literally been like three years since they played. Uh, but teams didn't like scrimming Noel Penke because they would just like push it down on defense. They'd sort of play as like ranked, be super aggressive, be super in the face of their opponents. But in officials, they wouldn't do that. They're too scared to go for those stupidly aggressive plays. So there was this big like um, juxtaposition of like how confident and how good they were in scrims versus officials. So I think that's what I'm worried about with EDG is that they go, oh, well, if we play scrims, we're just like, you know, Kung Kung's getting so many kills with an operator that he's just free to do whatever he wants. Um, and they're not really doing str strategically. You can't really translate that into officials very well. Like, it's very, very hard. Uh, if you need anything, please ping me. Uh, I don't think I need anything. Uh, the only thing I was curious of is just having, um, like a link in Sliggy's chat, I guess, but it's not, not mass appeal. It, it, like, it, it's such a small thing, but it does so much for this stream. And it's just nice that people might, even if they just come along and follow, and then come back and watch the VODs later. Because that's the other thing. Um, they're privating the VODs afterwards. Which I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why they would do that. Luke能不能为整支队伍去拿到属于他们的手札 Okay, just for you. I do need to add more um, uh, channel points. I'll work it out. I have a couple of ideas I want to do, but uh, when I, I'll probably like sort them in the middle of next week. 
So yeah, that's the, the general thing a bit. Um, a lot of stuff for ADG, naturally. I wonder what, because like, we can go back to these tomorrow if they're good. Coach Destroyer said that they've done an overall review of kickoff entirely. They've expanded their map pool. Said the changes to the roster and coaches stuff is for the team to win. Great. <laughs> Thanks for the insight. Yeah, we just got these players into win. Pretty sure every roster move that has been made, other than maybe Ye leaving Cloud9, is for their team to win. Can I mention that Lao King can play a lot of agents and also helps the team? So I guess he's just more of a flexible controller player than uh, Flexin, ironically. Um, I keep putting Liu King, because it's pronounced Lao, I'm pretty sure. But he can play Astro, he can play Omen, play Brim, play Viper. Like, literally, is just, like, the controller player. So this guy will fucking play Clove, no doubt, if that opportunity comes up. So for Flexin... How uncomfortable is it? Can play Viper, can play Astra. So, I guess that's interesting. But, uh... don't think that really pins us the whole picture. Maybe it's like because they're better on all of the agents. Because if 90 games... 200 ACS-ish, a little bit more on Brim, but he's only played 8. His stats are a little bit worse for Lao King, but I guess it's, well, Tracer just dumpster him more. Most teams that we've seen all games play, and that's typically what this comes down to too, because all of these are added in manually. It's basically all of the series that Tai Lu are shown on a mainstream, like in the West, that the stats get added. So we see more Trace and Trace tend to do better in those tournaments. We see all gamers, they tend to get bodied. Um, Loking themselves said that he's mainly there to help with Trace's map pool, as they can play a lot of controller agents. He thinks that the cohesion with his team is currently at 60%, which is just a pass, and it'll be improved through subsequent matches and practice. I like that they do like to give themselves ratings and whether they've passed or not. Like, that's it's such a common thing, it feels like. Uh, FBX. Lysa attended a press conference while Zishuan didn't. Um, yeah, this is the player that potentially might come in for Lysaw, but I think it's just heavily rumoured. Nothing like concrete. Maybe they've scrimmed with him instead of Lysaw, but that might be it. Uh, everyone may think that FPX will be the first team to use the new hero, but how do I put it? Maybe it's possible. We may run a triple or quadruple smokes comp, and it's not out of the window. These guys are just utter fucking trolls, aren't they? I learned all this thing from Madrid. The opponents are able to maintain composure, 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 and the ability to withstand pressure in a high-intensity match, and play with a lot of confidence on stage. This is what we couldn't do. Um, I'd say this. I mean, FBX played with a lot of confidence on stage. It just didn't work. Um. It's starting now. Berlin thinks that more has to be seen studied before using Cloven in an official match because their abilities kind of help their teammates very well. Right. And they're playing up against Wolves tomorrow. So that should be like a good win for them. Wait, somebody got banned in chat? Somebody that's not been in chat, I don't think, unless I've got them muted or some shit. Nice. Alright, Monk, attacking soul player. Uh, I think I have everything set up. Because I can disable preview there. Sword nine. This sound should be... I can turn this up a bit more. There we go. All right. Test, test. <clears throat> I've gone kind of quiet again. Fund. Test, test, test. Sorry, bear with me. Spitfires. Maybe I don't need to like 
compress it as much as I do. Test, test, test. One, two. Up it slightly. There we go. Maybe. Echo. So, I haven't got that set up either. Shit, that was something I wanted to do. An easy fix for next time. I'll write it down for me to remember. Uh, veto source. Oh, I should have messaged Vukashi before we started. Man is actually jacked. The venue's so empty. To be fair, everybody that was sat down is like parted to either side to like wave to the players. But that's a lot of people there still. Yeah. But obviously like with uh, group stages like this and like weekly fixtures, it is going to be a little bit quieter. I can probably up this to Giant Seven. Because I think the audio wants to be about there, I think. Ninja TCH. Oh, maybe, maybe that's a bit loud. Test, test, test. The yeah, idea is playing with Shion instead of Dingwei, yeah, yeah. Add more flexibility is what they said. But you've kind of got two controller players now instead of a main initiator. So maybe Nick's going to go to main initiator instead. And then you've got like, you can run stuff like double controller more consistently. Because then Shion can play like Omen or the Viper. And then TZH can obviously play both too. Yeah, they're just standing there, yeah. Yeah, they're just standing there, yeah. Hopefully that's not too loud now. Let me know like if the audio ducking of the stream is good. Or whether the in-game is a bit too loud now. I feel like it's a bit too loud. Yeah,而且我相信对于AG来说,其实我们刚刚赛前也听到了剑九这里的一个采访,是非常想要去复仇的,他们也一定做了足够多的战术部署和准备,但是今天要来到场上,一切还是以选手的一个状态来说话啊
So I guess that's AG actually doing well to like call the bluff. And be like, we know that we both like to ban Lotus, so we're gonna ban out the other map. All game is picking up Icebox. Uh, they pick Sunset once uh, against. Like, they picked Sunset against DRG last time, they lost. They played and picked Icebox against JDG, and, and they lost 13 11. So, DRG, had we seen them play Icebox before? DRG Gun Sunset. So, these are both maps that all gamers were like happy, really happy to play because they picked both of them. But in the two series that they played for kickoff, they played this, they picked this one to pick this one. So they lost on both, but. All game is bad and bind, so what's that leave? Split and Breeze. I imagine Breeze split. That's not really based off of anything. So they pick split and breeze left. Okay. Interesting video. I don't have like all of my thingies set up. So Icebox, we did see it from DRG. They ran Silver Gecko. And they ran Ray's Harbor Viper. I do like the Ray's on this map. I think that's a good choice. What did I say? So I was right on Lotus. I'm wrong on Breeze, completely wrong. I think this is a really nice veto, though, for all gamers. Like two maps that you've played, you're a bit more comfortable on. You've also seen uh, DRG play on this. What about Breeze? Breeze, we've seen them play. What's their record on it? They lost. They lost to FBX. Uh, they lost on split as well. Sent one on one. Pickums, do you want to do pickums for this map? You can do. I'm got stuff set up here though, so give me a second. Who wins map one? Icebox is first, right? DRG DRG and AG. I'll give you two minutes. I'm going to do pick ups. I got DRG for this. I got this 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 Fudongshi uh, I still kind of fancy DRG here. What are they running? I like also like DRG's jersey, like the black and green. They're running Harbor Viper themselves. I don't know why teams in China are so like allergic to playing Sage. Like on this map. Because there were three agents who weren't played at all at kickoff. Uh, Deadlock, obviously. ISO, and Sage. All gamers is raised. Yeah, they had raised last time. It's a, it's a good adjustment, I think. It's a crime not to play Sage here. I, like, I know you're memeing because you're just like a Sage fan, but you're right. Sage是第二季这一边，他们带的是一套钙可裂消霜先锋，它可能会缺失双烟的控图能力。那这张图其实现在主流国际上打的双烟会偏多一些。那反观，呃，AG这一边他们就是一套双烟。Need to stop that.
it says price. I guess it's like on the digital clock if it's not 24 hours. That this time, actually, also the same. They did the weight on the table. It could be that there is a change. Let's look at this map again. But I do think that like there's elements of like sage be more useful. I maybe just the utility is just too expensive, but it is so strong. Because I think for like sage, you've got um. From best map to worst, I'd say like Icebox for sure. Um, I quite like doing stuff with Sage on Ascent. Uh, I like the stuff I saw on Sunset. I think actually split would go here. Sunset, what's our levers? Breeze, breeze is too big. So there's like no chance. Bind used to be really meta. Um, what is the map of Lotus? Yeah, I mean, have we ever seen Lotus being played on this map? Are they considered the worst team in Chad of Tier 1? I would have said the Tai Lu were. Because you've got to think, like, obviously now we've seen Tai Lu play against Billy Billy, pick up a really good map, so it's a bit more varied. But, like, for Tai Lu last stage, they lost 2 0 to Trace, I think it was. Like Trace kind of destroyed them. It's like 13 4, 13 3. And then Tai Lu, it's probably better to do it like this. Like they were 0 and 2 against Trace. And then they went 0 and 2 against Nova. And Nova at that point, we were thinking would be the worst team, like, in China. But in comparison, all gamers, they did lose 0-2 in the first game, but they lost against DRG, who made top 4. And then they lost 0-2 to JDG, who probably should have made top 4 as well. And like the first map that they lost here was 11-13. First map that they lost here was 11-13. Like these ones were like 4-13, 3-13. And then this was like maybe like 13-9, 13-8, something along those lines. This was like 13-4, I remember, because they played Ascent. Sage is doing quite poorly on uh, Icebox in terms of win rate in tournament play. He's the lowest of all win rate in Sentinels in tournaments. I mean, I think Anders was asleep, but now he's woken up in a fit of rage because he went on a massive run about this yesterday. Because I thought that Sova had like the lowest non-mirrored win rate out of all initiators, but that's just for like tier one. Raise what? I mean, this is what they did last time. I think the most surprising thing is that they've swapped Delby over. There's now Spitfire's playing it. Alright, first map is Icebox. I need to sort out a way to record these better. Hopefully the in-game sound isn't too bad either. Uh, Alright, welcome back to China Stage 1, everybody. Clashes with Pacific, so we're focusing on this one. And the first game in the second day is All Gamers vs DRG. Rematch of a kickoff game that we saw too. I think for both teams it's been smaller just with well, like rosters, but I can go over all that when we get a second. Because all gamers picked the map, DRG actually picked attack first. And 
frenzies and classic spam is the thing that's winning out. Just three players to peek into. Like, good fight, actually, from all gamers. I have their... Uh, Managed to fight all of that together. But DRG just going for the like pushing elbow execute. Let's do double P2 as well. Oh, yeah, well played from all gamers. With the pistol on their map pick, at least the first one. DRG letting you should take those sisters of LT. Um, is it just him in the coach slot? Because Nain had uh, wolves of Nain and jungle. Yeah, whilst we're on like a uh, eco for these guys, for all gamers, the other thing that they've done is swap the roles of these two players. Delby's gone over to be Sentinel full time, it seems, and Spitfire's the X Rare Atom sub. It's going to be over on Duelist. Uh, as for DRG, we say goodbye to Dingwei for now, who was like the silver player in place of Xion. So I guess, yeah, they're maybe going to be playing a lot more like double controller stuff, like Viper Harbor here, maybe Omen Viper on stuff like Sunset. And Nick DRGL is moving from sort of being a flex player to just being main initiator. That's what it looks like. Yu Chen being head coach? I think that would make a lot more sense. Like, Yu Chen knows the players pretty well. Like, knows a lot about playing in game two. Bond在把尼克给收掉，只剩下我开属一个人，自己其实已经是队伴里面最好的火力配置了。正义加上轻甲，但是没有办法，没有更多的一个交火的机会交给他。这一分也可以看看我卡属的手到底热不热啊，因
探测到了皇城有人的，而且有狂潮，还有独木。现在对于皇乡位置 ，A G 其实是有点担心的，他们是不清楚皇乡有没有守到。But attitude not here too. Is it just everywhere? Oh. 是抱团打一波 A A 点只有单挂的 B Virus。哦，这个时候再给朱林眼球弹，知道皇乡没有人了。那这个时候应该要意识到 A 点可能要被进攻了。哦，有一定的提前量回防的情况。This is the but similar to a Sadak setup that he has. B Virus 先锋插针打。Reckon it's going to be used to get the kill on the Shion. Just beforehand, really nice fight from Spitfires. I actually like Monk being aggressive here too. I think this duo of like Monk and Bunt, because they were on the same team of attacking Soul, like I'm, I was really, really hyped to see them play. Actually, oh Nick, okay. He has to one versus five if he wants to get this. Oh, he might. Oh my god, he might. There's no time, no ten seconds. But Sword Nine isn't running away. He's stuck. He can't like, and he just doesn't expect him there at all. Oh my god, it's just three rounds into this, and we've already seen one of the most unbelievable rounds that we've ever seen in Tier One. I actually can't believe he won versus five aced. Is that the first ace of VCT China? It is for stage? No, it isn't. For neither like stage two or like um altogether. That's a crazy ace. The first two were really good. The second two was like oh dear, and then the fifth was just sometimes was just not aware. Oh my God! That's your IGL as well. What is it with IGLs in this region? Just getting fucking ridiculous aces. It forces him onto an eco too. Sorry, I just need him. <laughs> need a minute to recover from what we just saw. 看到了抱拳这个金刚环的位置了，哇，两个人是一起啊，秀恩和陆。The spacing is a little bit like this is with a lower buy, not too much, but the awareness I think of like how all gamers were playing this before. 操作了，哇，我觉得反弹前两分就是第二季拿的这两分，对于 AG 来说都很难受，就又有一点回到了当时起点赛那种感觉，就是我的部署已经。Just lurking around to see if he can catch anybody out here. 你突然会有这种这样的。I mean, he wants to die to the spike no matter what. 对于 AG 来说，他们要想要开始去想 Plan B 了。And if they can help it, I mean, all of these ultimates. You don't want. You definitely don't want Vukashi to get the kill. Get closer to a lockdown. Xion could obviously work their way up towards reckoning. But that's what they're going to be doing. Oh, what a start! What even was like? What does a word mean that they were spamming? I don't want to even say out loud because it's probably not a good word. It's either super dumb or probably something that you shouldn't say. This for the second round is also a good piece of information. Yes. All right, full buys back again. Uh, used the reckoning, the last full buy that you had. And you probably should have won the round. Showstopper for Spitfires though. This has been good at least from all gamers being able to fight this. They haven't gone to broke the, uh, break the turret this time. But like they don't need to, but they have good stuff almost coming online. I mean, Bun's just listening out. Knows that the cascade has gone up. Ob's been picked up. But is that it? Kion, I've come in to just get some information. Gonna shut all of this viper stuff down. I do like this like lurk up here too, just because now you had an inclination that people were still here. Kion, I've gets information. You got the rotate, so maybe the viper being able to push and catch rotations here would be good. The only problem is you got the alarm bot watching here and then the turret watching in kitchen. 
So TZ Edge is just hoping that somebody hasn't put utility here, that they might just come and like peek him to get info. But all gamers giving him absolutely nothing. 30 seconds, there's too many people stacked up here. The turret being broken is good because it is going to stall these guys out from rotating. But you don't have a Viper Wall for A. You got the Harbor Wall to come in, recon that, see if anybody's on site. They didn't show stop, but this could stall the plant, right? As soon as it gets tapped. Actually, doesn't use it to stop the plant, just gets a kill onto Vukashi, but five versus three. You have got a Hunter's Fury, so Nick is just chilling out here a bit more. Two people just playing around this cove as much as possible. Alright, good retake. I like the idea from Xion. It's a very Forsaken-esque, like, putting a cove here for something to play around. But I also really like that all gamers didn't break it, they just held. Basically until they got some of the other kills. Like, alright, we got everybody else, let's just break this cove and fight whoever's, like, in here or around it. Yeah, very nice. Showstopper reckoning on attack again. It's so hard to play up against this comp, like, mirrored, I suppose. Because you have to respect these harbor walls, you can't flash through them because you don't have a gecko or a KO. Also here, like, all gamers, uh, not the usual comp. Because they don't have the silver, they just have the KO. So, solo initiated KOs kind of a good idea. Yeah, okay. I just feel that the, um, the tried and tested stuff on this map isn't as appreciated as much as it should be. Good position for Luke to be in. Knows that there was somebody heaven too, so maybe he could have got the spray and got another one. It was the most base name. Uh, there's a play called Free For All in Tier 2. I'm pretty sure there's a play called I'm Better as well. I know that there's a Tier 2 team called Boring Player. Hunter's Fury finally used. All of the fights coming in. Like Luke and Fukashi trying to fight this together, bunts on their own. Doesn't see TCH in this corner. I mean, so far, this is like end to end stuff. I think from even like the games yesterday with like how Wolves played some parts of it, um, like Tyler and Billy Billy, it's definitely more like EMEA inspiration I think in China's play in comparison to before. Like it is a lot slower than it has been previously. But in all game is time out. Pion 第一时间的回防，导致说他们其实进点以后是基本点内没有太多的这个。Seeing this, I want Riot to honestly design their map that doesn't make the team just fall back and spam free smokes。战术的广度也体现出来了，我有转点战术，我也有fake战术，并且我会穿插着来打。那这种时候AG会有点摸不着。I uh, think at the very least, what I would like is uh, essentially further to be more like UI things to show whether somebody's been sprayed for a smoke or not. 
That's kind of what I'm looking for. Alright, Dash is in. Just going back in on it. Oh my god, Del B. I mean, we need to see it from their POV. I don't know how they've managed that. I don't know what they said in the timeout, but Jesus fuck. Luke. Nice response, especially after the timeout. Nico <laughs> can't really go much better. Knife from all the way back here to get information. Sheon's picked up the op. They one away for TCH. Pacific and China have the best share of guard. Users, yeah, they're some crazy aim players. How's Bunt looking this far? I mean, good. I think Bunt and Monk have been really good on this squad. Like, Monk was a very, like, aggressive player beforehand uh, for attacking Seoul. Like, on the roles that he plays, a little bit more aggressive than you'd expect. Lockdown's either side, though, on this B plan. And... What, 5v5? Good fight from Del B. Like, no, there's no utility for this corner. Like, no Molly, no Nana Swarm, no Nade. Which could have come in nicely, so Del B just clears it themselves. And they all push in. All behind the Cascade, all behind Coves. Del B, really good fight from him. Once Fukashi gets warmed up, easy done for DRG. I, I like Fukashi. I mean, he's an incredible player. But I think for DRG, the one thing I want to see is just the whole team perform better as a squad. I don't want to see what I saw with like losing against FPX, where... If um, if Yukashi gets shut down, then everything else kind of falls apart. Because he's so much of a carry. Delby's been pushed hard. Any reaction to this? The Reckoning is a really nice one. Makes this a really awkward fight to just go and push. A hell of a response from all game is this looks incredibly clean. Oh, Delby。Delby。好来劲儿。好像他确实发挥变得更加亮眼了。对。那这一个这个选位上的转变看来是一个正收益。哇。换一位历史课。就这种距离的话。好爽。多接的能力确实是非常强。so confusing seeing zero silver on icebox. I mean, it's it's more common now. I don't like agree with it. I guess no. I'm definitely like open to the idea of teams experimenting. I suppose. Right, like I, I feel, I feel like there is room to try stuff out. Like I liked Team Liquid's comp yesterday with the Harbor Gecko, 
But I don't, especially for new teams, I don't know why you just don't go for the tried and tested stuff. Like, you don't need to... I feel like just maybe coaches at this point are just going for a period where they want to, like, make their print on the game. Like, I've seen maybe how, like, for somebody like Anders to cook up comps and, like, have them be meta, and for, like, uh, using him as an example, because I think he's really the only one, like, of a, set, uh, a coach that sort of cooked up comps that have become mainstays, I feel like everybody's trying to do that. Like, almost like they're trying to prove their worth as coaches by coming up with stuff that's a little bit harder to anti-strap. Yeah, I'm a bit sort of worried about like all gamers attacking, I suppose. Because like if you're DRG, you just like play these positions, right? You just 50 50 angles everywhere. At least with a gecko flash, you get some form of info. Like KO knife is just the f only form of intel, is crap. Because she's not buying armor. I guess he just can't afford it. Like they've just decided, decided to force up and buy up. And they've used the Viper's Pit here, but they've planted like inside. That's a little bit worrying. Oh, 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 like have the viper's pet you can't plan in it for one 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 say to ge yeah keep me updated on the scores for the other games oh they tried to like plant in a cove out of the viper's pit so it wasn't even like vuk because i thought like you know vukashu russian player doesn't speak much mandarin understandable like if he gets panicked and forced to plant in that corner but you're seeing what Xion plant here in a cove it's further up right it's like here like the viper's pit hit this like corner and viper's pit now used on defensive b main you got uh, an alarm bot there to help who's the IG's IGL again it's Nick Nick and Sword 9 are the IGLs. Yeah, Vukashi is funny with how he like buys armor and what he buys on like... Like watching his stream on like Twitch and stuff. The amount of times that he just goes like, no armor, no utility, Sheriff, when like on an eco. This is a good adjustment though, I think, because you are like stretched thin. But it's a good position for De really good position for Del B to be in. I think that that's got to be expected a little bit more. Also, the Vipe, uh, the hard wall didn't actually cover under, so Del B just has a free sightline once that Viper's orb goes down. Yeah, very nicely done. So far, the quality of this map has been good. I think the 1v5 ace is a question. Like this, like having this amount of a gap here. Like Vukashi just wasn't ready to watch it. But he's worrying about Tube and maybe watching behind. It's a silly killjoy ult now. I didn't even really pay attention to it, but yeah, like it's... It was like pretty much as the plant went in, so yeah. Yeah. He won B5 ace, Nick. I don't know if we have a clip of it. Oh. Skin, please. Skin, please, 
啊，同样对于选手来说，这种时候还是需要去绷紧自己的神经。上半场并不是一个很大的比分，嗯、对于第二季来说，赢下手枪分就能够追平。嗯，啊，这个也很可爱啊。Quite man for the Russian goat, Vukashu. Been playing Sentinel on this map is incredibly difficult. You don't have the same freedom as you would do on other maps, I suppose. Like to lurk. And I think one of the things for like DRG if they're a little bit under pressure is they tend to group up. But I think you could play him lurking more. But it's not like he's a lurking kind of sentinel. It's just he's so good mechanically. You almost just want him on those slight hits because he's good at being like the secondary entry. Like he's good at playing off the duelist because his aim is that good. It was it was a great one v four. It was a bit of both, I'd say. It was amazing. From Nick, like some of the shots to hit, but there were parts of it that sort of like left you scratching your head from uh, AG's POV. AG AG mm. I have it on I have the clip ready here. I'll just put it here for now. Oh my god, it's playing in the background. I got really confused. I thought I paused it, but I guess not. Same sort of default on defense, pushing here. Kale and I are good for this kind of reach. I mean, this could be a really interesting default. But I'm very curious on how like DRG try to like work it out because I think they've got the right idea of like, all right, they used to care knife towards B. They don't really have anything else. We could push up to A. But we don't need to overextend. Like, let's see what kind of default a, uh, AG are playing, because right now it's just, yeah, you know, prodded towards B, but they still have, like, the kill drawing rays waiting over in this direction. Does China have a different hood? Yeah. I don't know why. Like, the text numbers are a bit different. The scoreboard, like, the full scoreboard shows how many timeouts each team has. Which I don't know why the main UI, the main HUD, doesn't have it. Like, I think that's such a. It's not like you're putting it in in place of something else. I'll show you it when it comes out. Great damage to the Spitfires. Bit of an awkward fight for. Clean everything else, though. So it's one all on um, pistols, isn't it? But the China hood was like a completely different color because of the like color red and stuff being such a. I don't know if regal is the right term, but it's a very like special color in China. Like, naturally, everything in China like loves the red color scheme. But um, it means that they can't like they don't like to use red for bad colors, I suppose. Like that's why they have like blood censored out, or like they change the color of blood to white because you know. In Chinese stock market, red means up while green means down. Yeah, I mean, it, like it's. It's culturally such an important color for them. So they changed it so the red color was more like a yellow or a purple. I refuse to believe it. I don't know that for certain, but it's more. It is very akin to what like, China seems to do with like color schemes. Because I think also part of it is like they don't want the color red because they don't want their team to be cheered against because they're not the red team. But I guess like right attack in here is you both get to play on attack. So you both get to be the red team at some point. Xion saved it all. Yeah, it kind of had to. It was looking very messy. 
，不放狠。两枪头部命中用自己这个丝滑的小走位，使用期就很关键了。That'll be sixteen to nine. Hasn't really worked out role wise for Spitfires. I think the good thing, I suppose, is that if um, if all gamers, it still doesn't work. It's easier, I guess, to replace a duelist than it would be for like a good sentinel. And you can't get an import either because they'll be Singaporean, I think. Maybe Indonesian. Like he's from APAC. Yeah, good hold, good default. Yeah, he's Indonesian. 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 Yeah, it's just all Chinese, unless they need to specifically talk to Bukashu. Like, this is one of the teams that has brought in an import and not, like, changed their comms to just be, like, all English or half English. Like, Bukashu is just in it. Like, you literally see Bukashu, like, ping in areas of the maps and having his teammates stand in it. The man's played StarCraft trying to set up people. Oh man, nice clutch from Delby too. Uh, this is a good bonus though for DRG. But it's just one player that survives. Because he's just the guy singing payphone, or he's the guy sweating, spamming like the keyboard. Depends on the day. Very nice, like first kill. How does Vikasha keep up with that? I mean, he is just he is playing Sentinel, so a lot of the stuff that he does is kind of on his own. It's just like ranked, right? Nobody talks. Oh, he he just deafens everybody and just plays his own game. I think this is a bit worrying though, like it, DRG if you're in a position where you're using drone this early, you're saving like recon for the execute, so as soon as they come in you recon like here, they all get pinged, and then what you've got, I thought you might have the operate here with just this position, but like a double stack holding here, KW just like comp, yeah. He's from he's from EMEA rank, he knows. Flash just didn't hit. It didn't matter, Spitfires is just going to barrel through people. Okay, he's here. You got a Spectre and a Bulldog. This almost feels more like a bonus here with how this has been going, but it's pretty much a full buy up in some cases. Walls up, Spitfire is just out waiting. There comes the flank from TCH. IGL sword 9 in his own clutch with a Spectre, knows that they're behind. You can play time a bit more. You don't have the gun for this. Yeah, perfect. Actually, really good response. Oh, and going over the top two. Really well played from Sword 9. Got very close. But I really like the decision to just sort of get out of there and just play time more than going for a fight. These are really close rounds. Right? It's, it's been a fantastic map. I thought that this would be a little bit more, I guess... Like messy, one-sided perhaps. You got an eco now. 
一样需要去小心。Oh, oh, already one with a shot. Oh, and you just run right onto that angle with Xion. Again, because you don't have the drone. This is something the DRG could just keep fighting for. You're going to get so much value with just either having the operator positioned here or. Because if they just. Really, they're only going to keep KO Knife in this. So if you could like actually get ahead of it. Oh, as they KO Knife, if you're back here, KO Knife just go into that space afterwards. They can't recheck it. Yeah, Vikashi just a bit further ahead before they can really do many, much more damage, so there's only two kills. Nihao read it, but unlucky. Um, they just go by TZH. I can't remember what Niza, uh, Niza means. Hmm. I think it's like smoky or something like that. Smoggy. Smoggy.上个回合还好，但是前两个回合AG是显之又显的赢了下来，但是只要赢下来，现在他们的比分已经来到了两位数。Oh, V5 now, you've already lost Spitfires. Right kind of thing, though. They actually just keeping pressure and be made as much as they possibly can. Because of that first kill, it's going to keep the operator glued over here. But, like, you kind of need to. That's the only, like, downside, I suppose, is just with how powerful this is without a drone, means that the jet has to be there all the time. How hard are my AG guts dominating DRG? They're playing better, for sure. This is their map pick, and Vukashi got suppressed. I think the wall just slowed him enough. Like, nurse the timing, but because that harbor wall, like, slows you for half a second, it just caught him <laughs> half a second later. Why did they no command? I don't hate the idea, realistically. Because if you win this, DRG are on the Nico again. Right, like, just save. Just say, don't push. No, I think DRG, like, they've used four ultimates. Just be like, all right, you have this round. We're going to just save our guns and go next. Because you push in, you die. Now you're on an Nico. And they, all gamers should be able to get to 12. Is a solo KO on Icebox cooking? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say so. Like, it's okay. I think just a silver would be better. The fact that both teams are running like um, Harbor Viper is surprising. I, I just. No team that we've seen so far in China is playing like the old like, Sage Comp. These are mean swamp in Chinese. Oh yeah, it's like swampy TCH. The second time up for DRG. Yeah, I, I feel like if you're DRG there, it's just... Once, once the reckoning comes out, because they used the, the Killjoy ult to get in on site, they used the Viper's Pit on the plant, they then used the KO ultimate, not really off of anything, I don't think. So maybe you could have just been like, they've used three ults. And then the Reckoning, as soon as the Reckoning's used, I'm like, oh, let's just go. Like, give them the round, save our guns, make sure we have a good full buy, because we have, like, good ultimates. And they only have Showstopper now. I say only, but... Like, all of these used in one round. Feels like a free map game. Yeah, potentially. It was all free map as yesterday. 
。那这样的话其实是偏就是偏稳的打法，因为 A 区对面渗透的是最快，或者最最有机会抓住击杀的。It's kind of a good recon actually. 关键逐风是没了。嗯。Just gets like the top of this, so if anybody like tries to like eke out into this space. 防守铺流是进攻方这里的铺流，防守方的一个狂潮在前点有非常多的交互，而且巡礼剑。Because you got sunset and then you've got breeze. 暴露出来，我 A 点到底前点有多少人？是给到了 DRG 现在来说防守 A 点。And even though this is DRG's pick, I do kind of like fancy all gamers on that map. If they manage to win this, I think Sunset's really like best for the taking. If they lose Sunset and it goes to Breeze, I'm leading more towards DRG at that point. 是，他能够强行踩住某一个范围，让你不敢来碰我。是，看一下这个回合准备怎么去推进啊？第二时间准备来到 B 点。But I guess I'm not as high on DRG as other people are. But I know TZH has a lot of skills in this game. Can you see it? 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 Can you can't break it from that side. They have no time left to save. They got absolutely stalled out. I think it's the whole like, oh, we're on an anti-eco, we can go B. That's all it seemed to like. 比较难搜的位置就是 B 点这个位置，会有一点不好去搜，因为如果是A点的话，他的障碍物其实是会比较多的。Ah, they just couldn't get the plan down. Fade 够好的话，我会好搜一点，但是在这个位置二楼，你第一时间不跳二楼就会有点看不到二楼的位置。其实我一开始也以为是要飞二楼，然后来，哎，被冒犯back。那time I left DRG, they just used the last one. Bit tricky now. 为队伍撑下了非常非常关键的一回合，因为这个回合是消耗掉了小火龙的终极技能。对，并且中卫技能的优势也来到了 DRG。Any other real adjustments? Yeah, not really. You've got the alarm bot to speed back a little bit for elbow. 难很难过的。是。这个回复非常长，而且还是那个问题，就是你是 KO 的话，你是。Broke this，but 但是他在前点自己放了一个，我们看到DLP是放了一个。It's mm. mm. a shame that uh, all gamers didn't sort of try to prod this a bit more. If you had an Aldron, it would be a lot easier. But just there's no support for the Vipers. If you actually do get like a drone ping, manage to pick them off, it's completely open. There's no like a Lamb bot playing over here either, anything like that. Just literally plugging the hole. 希望其自己是满技能的，而且手里还是有爆拳的。如果这波要，so is twelve, twelve and twelve, so fifty, fifteen and five here. Molly's nice. Nick gets one from backside. Ultimates do they have? Gets two. Can only just tell. Again, they're stalled out with like ten seconds left. That's so DRG on nine. Money's now starting to look tight from mall gamers. I think a timeout here would be good. Because you've two rounds now. One was against the Nico where you've sort of run low on time and you just get stalled out. My DRG playing the defense as it should be, like perfectly. This战停还是给到了DRG在分数上面非常大的一个帮助 yeah, good time out from all gamers. Oh, we didn't run out of That's what I need to double check, actually. Um, that's what the Sliggy does. Uh, whilst we have a timeout, let's watch that 1v5 ace back.
Really good transfer there. Sees the barrel as well from Spitfires. And it's just, I, I'm surprised that Sod9 just wasn't expecting this at all. A hell of a flick though from Nick. Just unbelievable ace. Yeah,我覺得其實他們在上半場最受身上又有又出現了一次,就是好像往往張地圖接的人會更舒服一些。對。兩邊都是槍法,其實我們都越過了。I <笑> 中级技能还是有一点小距离在的啊这波打的 yeah, just holding in the right places. Was this a buy up too? What was the scoreline before the comeback? Um, it wasn't like super one sided. Like, it's not like there was like six or seven maps difference. It was like 11 7. Half-armor and stuff here, money's looking really good. You got the operator set up as well on this defense. Let me close this. So now you're able to like actually push up to all of this space. Same setup with the killjoy things. Obviously the same wall every time. Are they just in front? Oh, they're on top of yellow. And you got this mid split. Fully hit by the flash. Mikashu actually gets the player lurking through gate here. And then just with all of this chaos, Luke has been able to actually just stay in this spot. Can't get cleared. Good trade. Important trade from Delby onto Vu. You got two phantoms too, so the spray. You have got time to rotate if you want. It looks like that's what Delby's gonna do. How long until DRG realize it's a possibility? And how long until they respond? But this is the right choice though. It'd be more embarrassing if you rotate over to A and they just plant B. Like just stay together, hold for it. If you had a plant on A, just like, play retake that way. Now,对于防守方来说,压力是蛮大的。如果跟防暴动器还是在那样的一个位置的话,实际上局面是完全不一样的。接下来就要看第二季这两位选手的协同了。Delby的话,手里是有纳米风群。do you think she'll be able to keep up with Kang Kang? Yeah, it's just for both teams how much they support their like star duelists. Oh, they almost. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> it was a little bit, little bit wank with how we like peaked and the spray that happened on the second player. But DRG got very lucky there. Yeah, um, they brought Xion in. They didn't make any roster moves because they're both on the team. It was just bringing on your sub, benching Ding Wei. But it used to be the other way around for Evolution. When they went into Ascension, they benched Xion and then brought up Ding Wei. So it's like um, the six man coming in. Bunt的话是只能搞到一把数位了。嗯，而且整体站位变得保守了许多，不太敢去抓对面的前点位站人了。目前AG也是没有任何的再次调整的时间了。上一个暂停好像效果。Can I get the viper? I think I'm B. 
Oh, this would be incredibly sad for all gamers if they manage to let this slip. Kind of those games where you do like Spitfires has been dying first consistently and I guess that's the one problem that all gamers don't have like if DRG are looking a little bit worse for wear Vukashu can have some crazy rounds Nick won a crazy like ace Luke has his moments for sure but I don't think you really have that for all gamers just to play it it's like gonna like turn like spitfires can't do that i don't think to the same level so that's like a bit of a concern i guess ag现在情况有点不对了而且我们一直知道他们其实连败已经拉满了每个国留下来的经济也不是很多是 那接下来其实这个问题还是需要解决的，他们永远都是有烟可用的，毕竟双烟体系限制住民居后续稳定的推进进点。AG another eleven thirteen. Oh god, yeah, you're right. Another map where like all game is just lose. 哎，这回推了个狂潮，民居都没有什么发挥空间了。呃，人得往后走，因为剑九手里是有无效命令可以没收这个巨刃的。是的。Yeah, it's really like impressive with how the AG pulled this back. 强势的进点中一技能的。I wouldn't necessarily say that this is like a comp difference either. What's this now? Two versus three? Spike still hasn't been planted. Fake plant. See if they can get what plays to fall out. It's a good position for Monk to be in. Really good position considering he only has a Spectre. Two versus two now. Bukashu's still alive. Just peeks out. Gets both of them. All right. Really well played from DRG, but you're going to be kicking yourselves if you're all gamers. Uh, it comes back, I think, like to that round where you use four ultimates. And then just the attacking side, not having like a silver, I suppose. But the KO, I think, was nice on defense to give you some bits of information, but on attack, it's just too many positions to clear, too many 50 50 angles. The flashes are only so good, I guess. It's a shame because I think like all gamers, like the ideas that they seem to have are good. The way that they play together is good. I think just what they lack is a bit of that kind of like flashy power. People are good at like playing the roles, but uh, I mean, I like they'll be moving over to the Sentinel instead of Duelist. I think that looks good. Spitfires, who already didn't look good playing Sentinel, didn't look that great on Duelist, I don't think. Not in comparison to other duelists that we have in the region. But a good um, mental turnaround for DRG for being 11-7 down and being able to win 6 in a row. Heartbreaking combat for AG. Yeah, it's let it slip out of their hands so they're still without a map. But hopefully people are starting to see what I mean where it's like this isn't like a complete tragic team that doesn't know what this isn't like DFM or Global Esports esque of just them getting bodied. Like there's some like promising stuff in there. It's just always lacking something. Like, it literally came down to like if they don't lose that one versus five against Nick, they probably win. And like those big mistakes in the big league cost you massively, so yeah. Need to get on the Sluggy's channel. They play better than last year's main season crew. I like that you specified like main season and not playoffs. Uh, but yeah, you're right. I, I agree. 
But I think that it's hard to gauge because they're playing against worse teams than Crew did, like objectively. But I, yeah, I feel like Gold Gamers have like enough to build upon it, I guess. Um. Sorry, I'm just looking for where I save these things. Nika,刚刚那个五杀也非常的亮眼。夸张,这个是纯纠一打五,这个真的是一打五。那Team Lbi今天的一个发挥还是不错的，但是我们同样看到了两个人互换了位置，但是让小火龙目前来说还没有找到自己可能说以前大觉的位上比较好的那样的一个手感吧。嗯，可能现在看来，要么是两名选手可能都
多少的出现了一些不适的情况啊、嗯。对的，都一定会有影响在的，因为自己作为少尉，其实。可能很多情况下，第一时间没有办法参与到正面的一个对枪的对决当中来吧。对。但是最后的一个结果，其实我们看到了，还是由 DRG 这里成功的拿下了图一的胜利。那接下来将要来到的地图是日落之城。哎。这张地图对于 D 呃 DRG 来说，他们上一次是成功的赢下了 AG， 但同样的比分又是一张非常非常接近的地图。这一次两边我相信都会有一些变化。就首先在当时对阵到 AG 时，陆克的发挥可能作为霓虹不是特别的理想。啊，对，他是否会去做一些修正？再一点 ，AG 这一边其实在当时也是一个小比分失利，但是 Bunt 的发挥非常亮眼。对，这一次。火力输出点会依旧是棒，还是说棒特以及貂臂的双核体系出现啊？其实我是非常期待的。今天要首先要期待的就是这个阵容，两边会不会有做怎么样的一个调整？因为毕竟离起点赛两支队伍来说，中间还是有一段。呃、嗯，休息的一个时间，在可以供他们去更多的训练、更多的调整，或者说练出更多的一个战术来。因为上一次确实虽然是 DRG 赢下来了，但是比如说像我觉得像呃 Luke 的霓虹这里，其实他不一定玩得很舒服。对，那有没有可能换成雷兹呢？虽然说在这支呃从起点赛一直从这个早期，应该是我记得去年四月份就已经开始有一定稳定班底的这支队伍来说，他一直是打霓虹体系为主的，在大多的雷兹队、嗯，包括他们在以前的。呃，应该是莲花古城，他们都会拿一套霓虹体系。那他们对于霓虹体系的熟练度是呃，已经到了一个比较高的情况了。那这时候我是否要去放弃一个很成熟的体系，去选择到另一个新的领域呢？对的，来一起看一下吧。哇哟，这张地图出捷风，其实真的会比较少一点。但是我真的是觉得，对于陆克选手来说，他最自信的就是他的捷风。是的。两边的阵容其实核心点还是在于铁臂猎枪蝇的这个三三叉戟，或者说三个辅助型英雄。Pretty sure this is the same as it was for DRG last time. 那这张地图选择到杰锋的话，他对比起雷兹的这个地点，他是有比较多的拐角在，他不一定像雷兹一样能够那么的。Since they, oh no, they were running neon. 对吧 ？U 型弯。啊，那没有那么快，没有那么顺畅，能够获得他清死的可能没有雷兹来的那么强。那如果是自己的优势的话，是在于他有更多的一个在防守方或者起到明狙的一个机会，还有更加直给直白的这样的一个逐风在。Nine five to eleven thirteen. So it seems to be common that AG have a lead and then lose it. The DRG win. Yes, the one they lost. Some of these situations, they have a lot of predictions, but then suddenly a moment of clarity. Sorry, DRG. Yes. 这样的一个调整，对于第二季来说是考验，是挑战。同样，对于 AG 来说，何尝又不是呢？对于 AG 来说，他们也需要去，呃，因为对手一突然的一个。I'll stop it before we get into it, though. 是的，也是即将进入到日落之城的博弈了。这张图其实运营转点打法会居多一些。那同样的，也可以玩一波流，但是一波流更多时候你一波进去了，如果你在过程中掉了太多人，基本就等于结束。对。所以这张图的中路又比较的四通八达，更多队伍会选择去做运营。好的，第二张地图日落之城，对，帷幕也是即将拉开，看一下两边的手枪局对决。对，两边的这个阵容选择上面啊，刚刚其实郑生也已经提到了，对，就只是在于决斗位置上面的一个。Start recording this again. All right, map two. Instantly in are all gamers. They're attacking first on DRG's map pick of sunset. Boston, a plus series. And somebody just pointing out in chat. 三个人啊，嗯 ，last time that these two played on this map, AG also had the lead then and let the game slip. Narrowly, eleven thirteen loss. 确实不太清楚，在 Elbow 这个位置。So all gamers are yet to not only pick up a series in VCT China, but yet to pick up a map. But it's still early days yet. Only played three series, including this one. So both running the same comps. This is the same as it was. Um, same comp that they were running last time. But obviously, just swapping up these two, I think, with the roles that they were playing. And for DRG, they were playing Neon, now they're playing Jet. Which I don't know why Luke just doesn't run Rays here. I guess it's a good point. Like Xion's playing the like main Sova. Get Yan Lao. This round, we know he's got it. Next round, can he hold? Get Li Keqin. Wang Chun's point is to get a Fei Xian. This round, two players stacked up in that same position. Big that Xion got that kill in the first place. Now, what the hell is going on? 
Bont 也完成了补强，最后一个二打二，爆能器刚刚。You have two versus two in a late flank. Cipher's gone down on attack, so this lurk can come in, and I don't think it's going to be expected. I don't like the Bont is pushing this without like Monk. Usually these two play so well together because they've been on the team for however long. The smoke is good because it stops this lurk from happening. They might have even heard full running from TCH. 但是 really good, like in the end, really good play from AG. I was a little bit worried with how like aggressively they tried to go for CT, but like how they played off of each other, like the little crossfire that they had, like in the two v two, and the smoke, really nicely done. Uh, this is the second map. This is map two. <laughs> It's currently like one nil to DRG, and you can tell in the top. So full buy, full eco, not full buy. With a buy up against a full eco. Like this is what I mean for like Vukashu. He's bought sheriff, no armor. He only has a camera. Like the man just doesn't buy up utility when he's eco and he just goes full straight sheriff. Alright, so the smoke tough be main behind. Playing aggressively on the post plant. Really nice response flash, I think, that came in from Nick. Damage is amazing. It was definitely winnable now. Eco's in a grand old spot. So nine IGL again to win a clutch as a recon now. So he can like buy his time, similar to like the last clutch that he was in. Like hopping up here, good. You probably expect him to be in here. Gets cleared by Luke. Tzh is sticking it. Gets half. Wins out the clutch, but you're gonna be happy with that as an eco. It means that there's no bonus that can really come in for all gamers in round three. The Bane playing AG before, I recognize the name, but I don't know. It might have been from like the old old team. I don't know why they didn't show more of that replay, to be fair. That's where it got good. Oh, I was the one who replaced RB in DRX. Guess Dunn was just missing TCH and peaks. Looks a bonus like here. I mean, they've got plenty of money at least, but it's not really expected to do too much with this kind of buy. Especially with Spitfires going out early. I don't think having a lot of first deaths as a duelist is necessarily bad, but there's a lot of times where Spitfires dies and there's no chance to follow up on it, like to trade him. Like he just dies on his own and nothing can happen. They're aware that they could have been pushed here. And this is a really nice position for Delby to be in. Just in case the Breach wants to try and push in and put, like, jump on these guys behind. This is still just an awkward position to be in, though. Like, Vukashi still has that trip on site. You also got TZ Hage just playing in market. And then a Around. So, like, the response here from DRG is nice. Because this is such a difficult place to clear. It's hard for AG to really go anywhere. But obviously, if you're like Vukashu here and you die, you've just opened up the site and you can't really hold any of it anymore. Out of paranoia was good. Really good fight for the last two as well for Vukashu. Oh. Oh. Same like trip going across site, market, camera on both. 
差点有机会啊。是，给一点火力压制。Yeah, holding this close position where you don't get flashed is super strong. If DRG two zero, what time would EDG start? Pretty much like twenty twenty five minutes afterwards. Like it's a rolling schedule, but the turnaround for China games are typically very fast. Yeah. 有一个这个预备的动作，那这样的话失去了自己的唯一决斗位。嗯、A G 现在想要去打一波提点的速度，其实是没有办法打的。形象中，那么快的抓到了一个 timing， 哇哦，这样都跳下去了，好身法。这个格点烟有点骗到试勇气了，但好在。The controller, you got the camera set up to sort of watch if anybody's going to repeat this. 考虑控球呢，现在 Monk 差一个点，但是 A 长球刚已经控。But everybody from D R G is stacked up here. You've lost bit fires early again. 中路其实两边都没有信息，嗯，但是第二季的这波赌 A 是完全赌到了，是的，三十秒的时间，要看一下这波要怎么去打了，可能要等一下。Monk 这边的技能吗 ？Monk 手里其实有山盟哎，来了 ，Great Flash， 点倒了一个 ，Swanet 的步枪来的非常快，在。I don't know why that wasn't expected more, really. 有人在藏，唐超想来抓。But I guess that's just all game is doing a really good job of like building a pressure. Are you gonna watch JDG vs EDG? Yeah, 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 we're watching all China. Might need to dip later though, depending on how long it goes on for. 这样的拖延效果没有想象中的那么好啊，拖了大概五六秒的一个时间。我开始再推过来，但是他们的站位上优势还是比较大的。嗯。但其实现在枪线展开啊，现在看守方家，唐超打掉一个，残局还有悬念，安全包点内没有人能拆，呃，没有人能架。是的，直接给一个，掩护一下自己。拆完了，要拆完了,拆完了，没人看吗？传在上面。I like the TZ HTP in the top of the box. And then in the smoke to just sort of hold it all. 没有办法判断出 TZH 的位置，压力很大。哇 ，TZH 的残局还是经验挺丰富的。他其实刚刚给到对手两个悬念，一个是要么假 T 就藏在烟里等你来抓我队友，我再来收收人啊；要么就是你剑影进去了双架。是的。啊，我觉得这两个回合可能会出现比较大一个。Yeah, that flash from Monk caught so many people off guard. A good turnaround yet again. Like a lot of rounds, I feel like all gamers do well to. Put themselves in a good position, and then it just doesn't. 开局的技能其实教的还不错，他能够控制住某一些点位，但是每一分其实小火龙都会把自己置身于一个极为风。I wish we had API stats though to see just how often Spitfire is dying first in this series because it feels like so much. 这一分混几分，放慢节奏。But more specifically, dying when there's no like trade. 有信息。When this China challenges start, it technically has like there's no like tier two challenges this year. Uh, it just sounds like they're like doing another kind of like weird evolution tournament. Like the format's cool, like because it incorporates like streaming tournaments for like Billy Billy Weibo, Huya, um, Douyu and Huya. Sorry. And then like collegiate brand partnerships as well. It's very complicated, but yeah, like the challenges tournament is in like July, and then top eight teams based on points make ascension. Dodges the flash. He is only one HP though, so he's trying to get something up against the Nico like that. Though it's risky to just keep fighting it, but I don't think they realized how bad the buy was. 关键的时间，而且也帮 TZH 这边勾引到了，没问题。我觉得这波要贴到脸上了，想捡枪，两位跌倒了。The only China Challengers team I know is XLG where Crystal's in. I mean, you've got Rare Atom. And you got um, JJH as well. Yeah, JJH and OC now, they're in both, which... Yeah. 那终极技能的运营上，现在看来 A G 也是进入到优势轮次了。玩烟火差一个点就能充能好，对，这一分是 A G 势在必得的一分，因为自己也来到关键分了。嗯 ，A G 的终极技能是比较多的，他们其实是很需要这一分去能够去稳定一下自己的比分的。嗯，目前他们其实就是等于被第二季连追三分。So full buys again, hunter sphere for shield. Both sides have it. Neural theft. 硬掰前点位或者打提速了，而是开始摸牌，但是这个半线半道，哎，没有倒还行。Hunter sphere kind of missing. There's Spitfires again. Like nobody's with Spitfires. 
Like what? Like why is he pushing market on his own? And if the plan is to go for like a B split, where is everybody else? But this is getting like frustrating to watch. Unreal timing from Xion. He knows that there's one on site too. Oh, actually, no, would he? No, I had no idea. Weird ass round from both teams here. Saved by Sod9. How many rounds it feels like all gamers have had to play in like a 4 versus 5 and still managed to turn it around? Like, that stuff is good. But here, it's, yeah, it, it's very confusing as to what the plan was meant to be initially for all gamers. Just read it so well that he was going to get peaked from another player. Because I think if Spitfire's plan is to just break this trip, well, he managed to do that. But then, like, is this a timer for all gamers? Uh, yeah, it is. Maybe it's wrong, maybe it is for DRG, but like, I think all gamers called it this time I'm a fan of. Because I feel like it was when Spitfires died that they maybe like called the timeout for the next round and then somehow still managed to win it. But yeah, I think this is good because like for that last round at least, like all gamers like shouldn't have really won it, I don't think. They just got very good timing and lucky with some of the fights and especially like Sword 9 finding two mid. I'm going to go finish a cup of tea though real quick, so one second. So 好的这个地方在于啊终极技能还是 why the change of pace though for all gamers? This is up against like a full buy too. I wonder if this was a good read too, because like the timeout that they had, the call from DRG was to put all of their cypher stuff from B onto A. And all gamers, that's the time that they just go fast B. Oh no. Uh, I thought all gamers were gonna lose that then. What what even advantage were they in? Were they in a 5 versus 2? 4 versus 2. They almost lost a 4 versus 2. Oh man. The showstopper just comes out. Yeah, Spitfire is again like in a very forward position with no like help. I don't even think Spitfire is much of a problem here because I feel like he's at least doing stuff consistently. He's just not really got that backing. Like maybe that's him not being aware that he doesn't have somebody like helping him or being in a position to trade off of him. Alright, Xion peaks. 
，贴到脸上了。洛克手里有珠峰，他自己得想办法了。贴到脸上，苏丹打的提前枪，非常的有经验。那反而这个绝地不好出手了。哎，蹦蹦跳跳。At least it gets it gets dealt with from over here. Oh, and TCH just found them one at a time. Good fight from Spitfires. I swear, every round that our game is winning, it comes down to a one versus one. They're just crazy, like, moments that maybe shouldn't be clutches ended up being clutches. I wonder if DRG are going to call a timeout soon. Sorry. No fun of the jet pick. No, me neither. I'd prefer the knee on the day had beforehand. Right, one sec. Ah,现在面对第二，第二季面对上A.G.的这样的一个拉扯，或者说拉扯后的一波，稍微是还是有点接不住，而且呃，整个队伍感觉有点拆散掉了，就是我先锋的技能有点没有办法给到对手正面第
Did JDG make roster moves? Yeah. We, we can talk about it when we get there, but yeah, they have a new IGL. Yeah, Vukashi's now in, like, farming territory. I'm a little bit concerned because this was a side that all gamers chose to uh, like, choose the side on, so they chose to attack. <laughs> Mukashi on the international stage. Oh, it'd be so nice if he was able to make it, but I only want to see DRG attended event if they can, like, look the part. Was this just broken by a nade? Like both trips just been destroyed by one bit of utility is slightly rough. Might have even just been a shock. And there's Fury on defense. Actually managed to dodge it. Nicely done from Monk. He is a rolling thunder too, but he's looking like he's going to use it towards lane. It does actually hit all of them. Like, it's a really good ult because it hits both sides. Alright, nice from Delby. Again, really good, like, response from all gamers. I think DRG got a little bit unlucky about the Hunter's Fury being duped, but it was just very well played from Monk. Like, him to not get killed by the ultimate, and also just a really good roll in front himself. Um, pretty much since the timeout, I think Spitfires has been a lot more with the team than he was previously. Camera for mid. No trip up here this time. Still got like the focus on like A main. It's such an important pick as well for TCH. Still good information for Vukashi to work with because you have the camera in B main that's not been broken. Luke having to push, which I don't hate too much because you have some support coming in from Nick. And you're a player down, so you need to like kind of push out and find something. Good movement from Luke. Really important trade from Monk, actually, too. So, what do you have? You have like flashes and stuns, but you're now starting to like separate from each other. Neuro Theft is going to be used on the killing mid. So this is good from DRG to just show presence. Vukashi now just backing out of mid. Knows that he was sort of leaving himself open a little bit to try and get the ultimate off. The buy for Xion isn't good enough to sort of win those duels. Stun and Recon both miss Nick. The planet for safe. Just uh, like as Vukashi peeks out. All right, nice round from DRG. It's a sort of like a couple of these rounds haven't been uh, amazing to watch. Like that one was a little bit to and fro. But like last round of the half, right? So play a switch off a little bit. I don't know who's going to win this one, really. And you look good so far? Sorry, I was watching Pacific. Are you asking if they look good so far, or are you... Because you said that you were watching Pacific, so I don't know if you were just asking, like, hey, do they look good? It's perfectly valid to be watching Pacific too. Um, yeah, I, I think that there's still a long way to go for them, but I don't think that they are like the worst team in the region levels. Like a lot of the series that they play against tough opponents are good series. They're just like missing something. 
It could be something just really small too. Why would you like to see Vukashi next season? Do you think he's outgrown his team? Uh, I don't know about like outgrowing because I think that he was always like sort of better than his team mostly were, as bad as it sounds. But I don't know if anywhere else would like realistically pick him up. I suppose. Like, that's the part I don't really know where to gauge it for Iverdom. Lou feels way too inconsistent as a duelist. Yeah, it's just as soon as you start to like lose faith in him, that's when he starts to like perform well. Annoyingly,两边攻防互换，由第二季担任进攻方，由A.G.担任防守方。看一下两边的起枪啊，目前没有出现发一把枪的情况。那落位上的A.G.是三人重防，A.G.在第一。Like it's very tricky, I suppose, to get that balance right.是两边在这个，我们也可以看到，在K.D.的反应上面，我开始这张地图也是因为一开始是防守方，一样会有非常多可以架点的地方，让自己的。But I think for both, like it's an interesting head-to-head of duelists because I think both Spitfires and Luke are just. Suffer from the same sort of stuff. Despite it's only really starting to see Spitfires like now. I don't know where you'd realistically what their ceilings are and how you get the most out of them. But 6-6, six, six, all game is defense. They're just hoping to walk out, no trip, but the camera's spotting everything, so they're pinged. Lou just didn't care. They know that they're all backside. You still need to plan, and Nick's also lost the spike in headshot. This is going to be another one of those rounds where it's like, okay, AG, you've got it, and no. Potential there, though, because Vukashi is only 14 HP. Trying to peek it together. It was a good call. And they just push it one at a time. It's Monk going before Spitfires, too. <笑>他就第一下暴怒器 uh, <laughs> I feel like that's all gamers again having like a pretty big advantage even though it was for like a short second. I think it was a 5 versus 3, yeah. 5v3 that instantly becomes a 2 versus 2. They've all got the artisan orange mouse mats. I need to get myself one of those, they're really nice. Should to break the trip? Seems that they'll be sort of doing the same full classic eco. And the L game is just now trying to gamble on a site. Open it because the IG showed themselves a B that they would just rotate and go A. <coughs> Seems that they might be spot on with it. See our starting to really like split up here though. Against an eco, which is always risky. Like the eco is always against an eco, which is always risky. Clear and mid is good. Because now the silver is going to be pulled towards B. There's going to be smoke in market. DRG uh, potentially falling right into the trap of all gamers. It was nice that Luke was just able to put, like, check on his own. It's like, there's nothing here. Nobody's peaked, nobody's done anything. 
Literally just by my martial shots. Yes, and they do get him in the end, though. A lot less scary than Nico with only a single breach flash. That's true. I mean, it is a monk breach flash. Yeah, just push out now. Luke was just very keen to have like a no-scope shot kill, raw, isn't he? He might they were spamming. Yeah, honestly, really nice stuff. Yeah, let's see how this goes now for DRG. If they can, like, they've got a really good bonus here to work with. Feel like if they win this next round, that could just be curtains. Mm, Luke 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 he didn't really just expect that player would just be sat there waiting. Ping-Deer, so I don't know if they've seen Xion. He hasn't used the drone. I'll drone used towards A. Take smoke. Really good, like, bit of fake info for DRG. But you are going into the site of the Cypher, which is unfortunate. The late lurk of Xion is caught in market too. All gamers have like done well to get in the right place, but this hasn't really necessarily helped all that much. Good read from Nick to expect somebody to maybe come through a market. Fully flashed this time. I think Bukashi was as well because of the assist. Well, I mean, Nick's 1v5, so what's a 1v3? <laughs> Unfortunately, impossible. I don't know why I said it. For them to do well, I need to like jinx it into existence more than try to predict it. Yeah, I think for all gamers, really nice anti bonus. You only lose one, two, two players. Takashi 18 and 10. Nobody's really close, it feels like, for all gamers. Like, much more of like a team performance. Shook down to break a trip in market. Good instant smoke from Bun. He was a guardian. Is the money still a little bit awkward? Guess he's just like, I'm happy to have the guardian, everybody else can like full buy. Got the god drone, getting all of this information that there's people in mid. So rotation is instantly going to come in towards A. Even an aid, yeah, like, because it not only stalls, but it would break a trip if it was there. And Vukashu literally had the trip in hand, waits for the nade, puts the trip back down. Like, he just read that really well. It is DRG pushing into the site with the Scythe utility, and also, like, there's still two players here. I don't know where the camera is, they're trying to break it. That's a neural theft too now. Doesn't even need the camera or like the extra bit of utility. But there's like a cop's use a neural theft on, allows everybody else to sort of peek up. Two versus four. Okay, nice shot from Xion. Really nice shot from Xion. Oh, they're just doing it again every time. I swear, every time all gamers have a round where it's like they have such a huge advantage. Yeah. 
，烟快散了，还能接住，阿达一可以双拉一下，没时间了，主要是两个人一起拉。Really nice double pick there in the end too. Like how are the actually able to win these rounds? 个人能力爆发，拿下了这一分。Type of B holds give me massive bell flashbacks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the, the position of like B main is just too strong. But I, I don't. Uh, it was well played from Xion, but at the same time, like one at a time, one here, late peak there. It's like Xion is able to predict them, and then like they'll be like holding the angle. Very sad. 悲喜并不相同，确实是本身有非常大的一个优势，已经在手上的情况下，但是又被对手这种完全不讲道理。Like it's gotta be so frustrating if you're the coaches. 缺少了一点团队配合，更多的时候是挨个拉，也确实变成一个个拉了。对，加上施永基的身位控制。Yeah, one at a time, Pixie coming. It, it's 对，打一枪。It's literally just coming down to that. Like some massive rounds that are just going in the direction of DRG. Like, don't get me wrong, the one versus five ace was exceptional. But I feel like I feel like for everything else, it's just a little bit like, ah man. It shouldn't be feeling like this. Dominant, I suppose. This match is actually a bit like the two teams that have been playing for the past few days. Every match can be calculated, or in some cases, can be calculated. 到第二季到底想要打哪里，想要去怎么打？但是第二季就是有时候能够用不讲道理的个人能力去化解掉。It's always exceptionally tricky. 是的。AG 进入到了混起的局势啊，感觉跟我们的遇到一些区别。他们。All gamers use the second and final timeout there on Nico. 他作为守方这波 B 区是交了很多的技能来控的，想要强行踩这波蓄力交火。哦吼，还好有敌方能够第二时间再来。Guess the smoke and jet is nice to give you something to play around when there are these like aggressive moments. Like I have a smoke enough for recall and I'll smoke it away from a flash. 举着自己铁臂，举着自己的铁臂，然后跳回来这个地方确实。Still like good damage done. You've got Luke. 但是效果一般，枪械劣势，巧妇难为无米之炊的情况发生了。Delby 点内开街，但是被无人机。I think they know that Delby is there, but they just didn't get the ping on him. 还有一根半线在缩内，真的无从发挥了。Yeah, so nine last alive. 这一分其实设计还是不错的，通过山崩地陷以及暗眼，直接把 B 场完全清空。嗯，呃，没什么机会。其实很细，因为他换枪怕这个有声音弹出来嘛，嗯、想要去操作一下，但是这个 timing 啊 ，timing 啊 ，timing、嗯、有点差。是。那现在比分其实是在被逐步扩大的，但毕竟上一分是一个混几分，所以我觉得也能接受。想要去打一个非常规嘛，但是这波的战术，我觉得多少还是让。第二季其实是有所预判到了，他们第一波没有非常的贸然的冲到 B 通里面，而是直接退到后面，用自己的长枪优势。Both the duelists just doing sort all it feels like in this map. 现在中级技能上两边都是各有一些，但是 Speed Fast 的玩焰火能否有收益，其实是目前是个未知数，因为守方雷兹的玩焰火往往需要技能的辅助，队友技能的辅助。嗯。这发玩焰火能不能收集到更多的东西？对于第二季来说，他们也一定知道小火龙手里的这个玩焰火可能会成为一个大杀器。对，打 A 现在这种站位是容易被一炸多的。是的。I'm curious, I suppose, on like what DRG is waiting for. Like they just waiting for like full context somebody to walk up. 哎，这玩焰火哦，是接人的玩焰火。I guess just any inclination that there was going to be an aggressive play there. I don't know if I like this too much. We have the breach lurking. Going to break the trip, try and go like top mid. Sword Knight is just going to peek it. Doesn't really peek it that well as well because his elbow sticks out before he actually goes. I think DRG has been good at doing this, though. Uh, just putting pressure in various places. It does always seem to end in a B execute, but there's no like cipher utility here to worry about as much. Paranoid does connect onto Nick, but it shouldn't stop everybody else. Yeah, Rolling Thunder going in. Recon from Sword9. He's playing Market. Gets uh, like a full ping. Really good trade from Spitfire. He's expecting somebody to like push out of the smoke and be aggressive. He gets a kill. There'll be trades. 
呃，你如果在这儿强行拆除暴动器，是很容易被混倒的位置。市场的信息没。I mean, you gotta deal with this though. You don't have any smokes either. Yeah, DRG taking some of the the heretics game plan. Maybe not as like well executed as some of the heretics would do. Sort of felt like one of those things of like they do the smoke, they know how to do that, but then weren't really sure how they should like position and play like if they get pushed. Alright, our whole game is shown signs of life. 这波小龙的操作也是，呃，没有问题啊，证明了自己其实雷兹的这个熟练度。即使被震了以后，先飞起来再接住。那这样的话，其实是。The silver drone not showing the duration of silver mode annoys me for an unreasonable amount. Yeah, there's like a lot of things like that. Even like when you have people like diffusing the spike, and the UI sometimes just drops off. 中路要提速，这大脚步。Well, if they're going to be used to actually go across here, so this is really nice from Luke that he's just baited all of this like focus and attention. Doesn't get one, and Nick also goes down from where? Oh, just in like shot and gets a trade here, right? I think you can play time a little bit more there. Like yeah, you have to make a play. You're a player down, but not just willy nilly. He completely runs off because of the aftershock and still dies to it anyway. I don't really feel a jet on this map. Nah, me neither do I. But comfort is important. Ah, really. 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 Ah, 现场的应援板上也看到了第二季粉丝写的啊，四强不是终点，而是奇迹的开始。嗯，我觉得这句话挺振奋人心的。A G 这一边也需要更多的加油声。我觉得其实对于他们来说，现在可能还在面临着一个获取首胜的情况，所以他们更加的会吃到压力一些。但是目前看来，暂停结束之后，经济劣势的是第二季。对的，这个回合。I want to see more Yuri Masterclass from who in particular. 在 l u k 身上，那我们可以看到 a lot of good、uh, Euro players nowadays. 而且 AG 的现在这个经济是给到他们还有容错在的。嗯，守防明居在 B 区正面打阵，开不了进。Speedfire 被贴脸，头上好这一波鱼，碉堡保护住了。Good morning from Spain. Speedfire keeps being well up. 还是没有能够成功的进到点里。I mean, he's been like pretty. His first series that he's played like for this team as a duelist, and it's not been a great one. It's a kill and a ping. Like both players are like half HP. There any notable Euro players in China? Um, Plex, Agile Wolves plays a lot of it. Uh, Life too. This point, he lost to Bukashu. That this point, actually, has no real hope. Yes, no more thoughts. All right, our game is about to pull this map back. Now, in the TZ, there are two paths. One is to get the bomb to the other side. The other one is to get the bomb to the other side. He wants to get the bomb to the other side. It's not possible to get the bomb to the other side. But the bomb to the other side is not going to be able to get the bomb to the other side. So, the other players have a little bit of a view in the outside. Yes. The two players have seen the exact same position. 比分来到了十比十，这个回合也其实是一个非常贵的一个经济，想要去往前压啊，踩到。Trip also does a lot too. 刚刚 D R G 的暂停叫出来，我相信可能更多的时候是针对接下来这。He gets one kill and two tags, I think, with it too. 这个混起分呢，就尽可能去拿，拿不到也无所谓。I'm a fake Wolves fan, then. You might be. Hope A G T one really likable team.
Yeah, I, I respect the, the roster that they've put together. But part of me is just like, I kind of want... Uh, Spitfire's peeking with the upright air. That's the only thing that like, I can think is worthwhile for Jet on attack, is just being able to get past trips consistently. Might not matter though, seems the DRG is sort of making the same mistakes. Nice double peek though, fighting that together, really good. Like that's the thing that I think has been winning out stuff more for DRG. Uh, guys, hello! Production. Thank you, Jesus. Fucking EMEA impression. You don't have any other like util. You might have a stun soon. Like a smoke and six. They're still clearing this. You know where they're gonna be. It's where they always play. You've also just smoked them off. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Weird round. That's DRG finding the first kill too. Like Glute goes on his own. This double peak is nice. And Xion just stays. It almost feels that they're so... They tried doing the Team Heretic smoke once, it didn't work, so they're scared of doing it again, like this one. Like, why would you smoke them off? It's good smoke if you have some, like, pressure coming in from this way, but you've kind of made your presence known that you're both in B main. Oh my god, they just line up perfectly for him. Bukashi 1v4, can't do it. Nice round from Monk. Oh. Crazy shots. At some point, I'm gonna need to, um... Jump in and do... I'll do it, like, between series or, like, for the next bout. Mm。而且还是我们刚刚有说到一个问题是你这张地图选择到截锋就是你一波进不去。嗯。我们看到他一波逐风加凌空也只能来到这个箱子上的位置，他没有办法能够像雷兹一样能飞到一半elbow的位
把握住了这枪。呃 ，Xion。那肖安琪也被民居给收下来了，补枪没有能够成功。If I keep seeing this man just peeking on his own， 身上的压力其实是很大的，但是这两枪他现在给队伍争取到非常大优势了。Monk 上上分的三杀也是帮他冲得好了，进了卷地。这个残局他还有一手后呃底牌可以去使用。是。Like what's the plan now, though? Like, are you just gonna try and brute force your way in? There's three players here and all of the side utility. You've made no like presence known towards A or mid. Rolling for this gonna delay you further. Not sure if I like that ultimate too much though from Monk. 对于第二季，他们好像也不太想要去转了。嗯，但这波不转的话，压力还是很大哦。嗯。Everybody's just cut noise. It's only the like cipher being like, "Hey guys, I'm over here." Like he's showing, so like he could break the trip. He breaks the camera. They don't know if it's one player or like three. This is actually really nicely played from DRG. But now they've seen TZH. Now they've seen everybody else. Vukashu's 45 HP. Hit by his own team paranoia. AG pick up the first map in VCT China. Close map again. But now going to Breeze, we've never seen all gamers play it. Uh, DRG played against FPX. And like, I don't think all gamers will care how they got it over the line. Like, they got it over the line. Uh, I think DRG, like the jet didn't seem to look good. Like, this is just a two maps of like disappointing duelists, I suppose. But this just, I will. I, I just think like if you're a duelist or like what like you don't have any utility, but you're like the solver, they need you to go in on site. Like if you are gonna try and repeat the operator, do it with somebody else. Like letting the op get two and then get out is yeah, you can't be getting away with that. But nevertheless, really good for all gamers. So what were the teams? The AG, AG, not to sunset. Uh, oh, yeah, this game has been good actually, it's getting me so hyped for the next one. You think DRG is going to fall behind as the region improves? I don't know about like falling behind, I think... For me it's just my expectations of DRG just aren't really that high. Like, think of it like G2 in America, so that's kind of how I see DRG. It's like another Ascension team that's like pretty good. But has it got enough about them to like actually compete with like top four, top five teams? I'm not as convinced with that. I also just think that like weekly team like games like this, instead of like being a full out tournament like Evolution essentially kickoff were, I think this format of events might not necessarily work that well for DRG. Because I think like strategically, they're like, and maybe like meta wise with the agents they play, they're not as on top of it as other teams. They just sort of win out because they have like good individuals and like Vukashu especially. So if a team has a week to prepare for a DRG, it's fairly easy to read some of the strats that they have. And it's also fairly easy to find out what Vukashu likes to do to make sure that he can't get as much impact as he usually would. When it's just like a tournament like EVO, where you just playing in like day in, day out, you don't really have much time to anti-strat, that's where um, teams like DRG can do really well. MP 也是给到了 Bunt 作为幽影，在这样地图他抓了非常多的机会，并且精准击败率也是非常高的，来到了百分之四十二，一点九的一个 KDA。This game's been so good, yeah. I'm sorry. 关键残局里面，其实他也是有所。Uh, Oranad's down. 解决掉那个
Yeah, Breeze is going to be fun. What were they running comps wise last time? Oh, I didn't put it in. Uh, no, I did put it in. Jets, Silver, KO, Viper, Cypher. I think that's probably likely to stay the same, right? If Xion stays on the Silver. Breeze, Lord knows what they pick. If I was to guess. Viper, Cypher, Sova, Jet, probably KO. I don't know if Monk's played much KO though. Did we see, sorry, stats? Uh, all gamers here finding the majority of first kills. Yeah, Vukashu, like. Highest ACS and still losing, no help. <laughs> At least Spitfire's like clawed it back a little bit, it's just Luke couldn't get anything going. But uh, the Battle of the Breaches was pretty close too. Give me some Euro gameplay on Breeze. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see it from either team, really, because they're so... If, I guess it'd be cool if you could run like Spitfires and Delby as like double duelist. Like Jet Yoru there would be kind of cool. I feel like all games would be the kind of team to actually like try and play uh, like Breach on this map. Like some Breach Neon stuff might like be nice. Uh, actually, give me a second. I am going to mute and deafen because I'm just going to get set up on um, like some casting later. So I'm just going to get that set up. So give me a sec. was causing it to drop frames even though it said it was coming through at like 50 fps it was mm -hmm. it actually looked like 12 at some times uh, but yeah it looks it looks smooth today All right, everything should be pretty good now. Meet myself on a few mix. Audio busted or just me? We a different breed, completely different speed. Well, like my microphone? Why, how's it sound? Never mind, it's good. Yeah, it might have just been on for a second. I got like a lot of stuff going in and out of it, so it's tricky to keep on top of. Neon and Yoru. Yeah, stun TP combo with like how fast the stun travels. I do think that like Neon is definitely a bit of an underrated pick at the moment. Hey Zampoyo. How are you? I'm good. Just trying to like 
keep myself busy, I suppose. But uh, how's it been going for you? Good map. So, uh, well, I don't think we're going to be finishing on it, but might be calling it a little bit close in time. Well,do we have update stats of this series now? One of Uh,我们可以看到这两张地图打下来以后，很明显的一个点，就是有对于第二季有非常多的战术的针对和布局。Crash if it's not working for Spitfires. Currently trialing some people. I mean, I'd imagine it'd be worth waiting to see after this event, right? There's a lot of players that are in contenders still that they're not going to be making it. Oh, they are running Spitfire is back on the Sentinel, and then Delby is on Euro. Both running the same comp, actually. That's kind of weird. Like the, this, the meta <laughs> for China now on this map. <coughs> you think the tech bench is a good place? Yeah, I mean. You, you could pick up maybe like Chu. Yeah, double harbor on this map is. I don't, I, I, I don't know why you wouldn't go Astra in either case if you've got the Euro. So yeah, strange. Um, strange map choices. Black and Shapeless is also good. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking more like Duelist to replace. Spitfires, if it comes to it. Uh, but yeah, Black is good. Uh, Black, both those players are good, aren't you? I actually do like the old gamer's jersey, so. Like the slightly orange. It might be the lighting. But the, like the texture on it looks really nice. First time that we've ever seen all gamers play Breeze, both playing the same comp, which is like Harbor Viper with a Euro. So, a little bit unique. It's funny that both teams are playing it. guess teams feel like they struggle a lot with like fighting for this. Because this was like a, like a T1 wall when they were running Harbour at kickoff. Yeah, cutting across with this wall, you got a trip, so if anybody pushes elbow on defense, they're gonna get spotted. Xion just out in the open, TCH stayed by to slow this down, gonna check, see if anybody's gonna push this, and actually looking like he's gonna flank all the way around. Uh, but I mean, it has just... You snake bit this, and then nobody's like contesting for it anymore. Which I think if I'm Nick, it'd be nice to know that like this is just not being held and I'm holding it alone. 
Still, like a lot of crazy damage. He can play post plant here nicely for all gamers. Nice try. All gamers. Yes, strange. Uh, strange stuff. But that's pretty much been part of the cost for this whole series, it feels like. And suddenly Delby's on duelist and he gets a free K. Yeah, any force up? Not really. I found my sheriff for Vukashu. And they already have the Euro round two. Flash is perfect, but there's no, like, real position to follow up on it. And they've already picked up the, like, Orb, so it's fine for them to just back out. I mean, are you gonna use the ultimate on this round? Because it feels a little bit of a waste to like use that orb up for you and then not use your ultimate on this round. AG wins more pistol rounds, I remember. Yeah, I mean, I think they're on top of it now. It's it's either like three two or three or four one. Look I mean, in these moments, I think that's where, like, Harbour can work for DRG. Because you've got two kills. You didn't stop the plant, which is unfortunate, but, like, everything else seems to have worked pretty well. Uh, Xion is quite good. I'm still a bit sad that they dropped Dingwei. I, yeah, it, it was impressive, like, from what he was able to do in such a short amount of time. I don't necessarily think that he was the problem. But, like, I think, yeah, flexibility becomes an issue. Like, I don't think Dingwei could play Harbour, really. Oh. Oh. Alright, Fukashi's found two, actually, just playing from the bottom of the stairs. Free! The Euro ultimate just getting absolutely nothing. It feels like a value. And then you've got Spitfire's in mid, Delby. I have to keep checking their names now just because I know, like, I've got used to being like, okay, Spitfire's is the duelist. And now it's like, uh, he's back on the Sentinel, so I'm just going to probably keep confusing them up. Gotta be a save, right? Wasn't really even much of a bonus either, like a buy up here from Sword 9. Lukashi is alpha, but good. That's not, like, alpha's good. Living both like Alpha and Vukashi sort of suffer from the same problem is that sometimes it's kind of hard to incorporate them into a team. I will take Alpha Slander here of all places. Happy for everybody else to get slandered, but not, not Alpha. Yeah, Vukashi就用枪说话了，他的话语权还挺硬的，那就是没有办法。但其实我觉得AG一定会做好对手有人突然开始发挥的准备的，毕竟他们的对手自己也很了解了。对，长枪回合一把枪都没有掉，非常
Probably the stylists that they're not fragging, they look really silly. Yeah, sometimes it's like, it's same with like playing duelist, like knowing when you need to be sort of more passive and more like a general threat as opposed to when you need to be proactive and aggressive and push to fight, find space. It's not an easy thing to like get right, I don't think. Spitfire is just full running. <laughs> like, they hear all of this clumping in holes. Oh, Xion just getting shot in the back of the head. This wall is nice. Like, just a like, full contact walk up here. The harbor wall. Good round. Because so much attention was focused on holes because of Spitfire's just being noisy. Vukashi's still alive, though. That's the problem. What team was Xion on before? On DRG. He was just a sub. Like, he was on the main roster, then he got benched, and now he's got brought back again. It's like Sentinels bring about Pancada. Same sort of thing. Spitfire I think it's also like I want Ascension teams to do well. Like in all of the regions, I want the Ascension teams to not just be like bottom of the barrel, right? At least we can have that with like G2 and DRG to an extent, but like gentle mates. Um, not sure that they'll be much better. Like good winning against BBL yesterday, but I mean the quality of the series is pretty bad. I feel like that with watching all of EMEA at the moment, just like I know I'm watching China where it's very sloppy and it's not as good. But like, I guess I was expecting more of like EMEA. Like either I think they're just overcooking with some comps that just don't need to be overcooked. Or they're just getting like basic things wrong. At least for China you have the fact that it's just a super mechanically gifted region. Alright, you spotted the cipher at least. The way DRG plays in Rage is me with how Bukashi turns into God and bails him out. I mean, that's a similar thing for a lot of Chinese teams. All right, nice play from DRG. Like, really good timing to go for that, too. Having the spike, like, Xion has got the cove as well, if you want something else to play around. Really good, like, cutting noise, walking up, playing together, most importantly, AG. Doesn't matter, though, Xion still gets two. Oh, I mean, that would have been incredible if Delby was able to pull that off. Tracy's spot's going to be really interesting this time around. I look forward to seeing what potential they find with Lao King and how they managed to integrate him. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's an interesting move because, like, for the eye test, Lao King during evolution looked solid. Kickoff, no, because all of Tyloo looked tragic. So I guess it's interesting to see what Lo King would bring that Flexing doesn't. I know they've sort of said like flexibility and stuff, but it's got to be more than that. 
崩盘的一个局面啊。嗯，包括上一分 A G 是交出了自己的神经曲息的，那在中文技能上第二季还会有一定的小优势，包括 Twist Look 的神鬼布局也快充能好了。I feel like we would take, but he actually looked fundamentally solid. Yeah, I think it's just that they kind of look. OK， 就就打你 A 场，知道你 A 场人少了啊。If they get sort of beaten down bad, they just lose all like mental. 放技能的 timing， 要不要找到吗？哎呦，不要配差一点，梦哥还好是能够把人给截住，打了一个闪。And look at TZH just running all the way through. Don't splinter too much. By here, if you TZH just back up, back up. Like you've give, like you know where the spike is. You've got the rotation if they try and go elsewhere. You got a trip up in holes. Like this is good. I really like how quickly Nick came to like help across here too. See, does have a recon. But you're going into the site where you also have like Cypher Util. So like DRG, like Xion winning these fights is great, but like how they're reacting to all of this is really nice too. 强行在 A 通把人给接完了，是。Like really nice call from Nick, really good team play with like TZH。有点像是这种三方向，就是我把我把进攻方打成一个包夹包饺子，但是你这样你有有你有一个部分的皮露线了，那他一整个线都会流出。He's reading this nicely too, like adjusting, moving. Hard to play for the crosshair, but he does it anyway. Can't wait for China to catch up strategically. Yeah, I don't think it's going to take long. It's just the thing that's going to slow the region down is just they can put in all of the effort to make like their default stronger, like build up protocols. But it's just not as fun as like either just scrimming a load or aim training a load, or like playing scrims without that kind of discipline. I'm just playing scrims for fun almost. We have four competitive regions where teams that win tournaments will get insane tournaments. Yeah, I mean, I think the international events is the things that really like sell Valorant esports. Like, I'd like the international leagues themselves to feel more valuable than they are. Because right now it just feels like a means to an end. But the international leagues don't matter. It's just the teams that qualify for them to attend international events. Oh, it is a tech pause, yeah. Oh man, at this rate, I'm not going to be able to watch any of like fucking JDG versus Edward. Yeah, Edward.那后续的情况该怎么去扭转呢？你首先不可能只针对试用期这个点位的，但是它必须得解决，因为每一波夹击进点都吃到很大阻碍。那接下来其实我觉得可以考虑去换一个点打。或是说像之前那样，比如说我通过中路的烟雾控中，先控完中，我把你人勾出来，就用一种类似于钓鱼的状态去找击杀。我是会比较相信。So might I go? Yeah, I've got casting at two o'clock, and it's half twelve now. So I probably have to dip like an hour. 呃，连续的执行这一个战术的主要原因是会有点，可能会有点不服。Well, casting did Polaris. It's like last week before playoffs. 是是吧？就是。With how crazy Chinese gaming culture is, they'll definitely emphasize drilling protocols eventually. LPL is not drilled. I mean, it's a different kind of game, like for league, right? To an extent. Is it in person? No, no, no. It's online. I'm literally like. Set up ready to go, which is why I like I dipped very quickly um, in the break. Like I muted and stuff, so I just got set up in the VMix call. When I cast, watch you cast IRL. I mean, I'm not really working that much casting stuff anyway, so doing anything IRL is going to be tricky. Yellow here, leave some protection to let it have more protection or use Jia Shen to do some combination. Yes. How well is um, DRX Team Secret 3, DRX 5? I mean, that'll be a good series to watch. Yeah, I'll probably just host like the main China stream. I think I might just slide into top four IGLs alongside Haodong, Berlin, and Hebei. Um, trying to think of like other IGLs that.
I'd sort of say, so like for EDG, you got Haodong, you got Bolin, Heibei. Uh, uh, I definitely said like top three for sure. Sword Nine. Uh, Nick. Uh, Plex is pretty good as well, I'd say. I don't like Abo's IGL in as much. To be honest, I don't like a duelist player in IGL. Um, YH, see how well they do. What else does that leave us? Olingo. Mm, we can move backwards now. Ice King. Ice King's quite good. I feel like he had some good calling yesterday. Bear's been like impressive calling wise for Billy Billy. Is that all of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that's all the AGLs. Yeah, go YH. Hido, I think, is more likely to be in top 5. Yeah, I'd probably say, like... Nick. It's sort of between, like, Nick, Plex, Bear... And then let's see how, like, YH does. But I do like, um... Ice King's calling for Tyloo. Like the most, like oh, like, not the most, but like I think it's like an underrated part of this team. You know, despite them like also looking like they're struggling to get a win on the board. I think there's some good maps at least. It's probably the longest tech pause that we've had in China. I'm just going to use this as a chance to go for a weed end, so BRB. Shiung 那这个回合AG也是因为前两个回合想要去这样硬打都是被对手的个人能力去化解掉了。现在的经济情况不是特别的乐观，但是DLB选手他终极技能是再次充能了，包括像Monk他的暴拳也已经是准备就绪。是的
So, you know, sometimes when we break like that, people can, like, lose a bit of their energy, lose a bit of focus to get the game plan a little. So, if you see around like that, calling a timeout, just being like, all right, let's just have, like, a minute to talk and, like, get out of our heads, maybe. So it's worked out, um, like, marvelously, timing-wise. Yeah. I wonder how much of a fan base Bukashi actually like has now, like in China. Kalu actually looked quite good yesterday as well. Aaron looked great. Flexing didn't impress me as much as he probably should have done. Most importantly, hey, Chipper Mai. Yeah, looked much more like comfortable on Sentinel. Good role to put him on. Yeah, I think Flexing looking rough though isn't too much of a shock. You could say, like, oh yeah, because Aaron's new to the team, they didn't struggle, but Flexin's new to the team, he did. Like, it shouldn't be an excuse, but you've got Flexin playing more, like, support utility. Aaron's, like, well, I mean, Aaron was more, like, surviving some of the stuff he was doing, too. Yeah. Yeah,有一个暴龙七现在还是在后方的位置更多的还是对于AG这一招我们见过,对吧?想要来控制一下中路的这样的一个节奏。对,而且一场压了,一场这里直接给了一个不请自来往对面家里送。但是第二季的这
Like, I'm, I'm watching this man, I'm just like, why would you not just have Spitfires on Sentinel the whole time? Because being, like, the, the individuality that, like, Spitfires has here, like, the, all of the stuff that he does is so useful. Like, breaking the trip, doing all of this stuff here, pulls the rotations across, he's still there, gets this kill with the defender that's going through, and then lurks up mid to get a late pick onto an ulting Viper. It's just a one-man army here. Almost gets the third as well. But that's the best thing that like Spitfires has done all day. They're pinging this a lot. Stay by it, shock that, stop anybody from fighting in here. And then the ult me situation. Okay. Body blocking the missile so he can't actually get back. But the guard is heavy. Be careful, the guard is heavy. Oh. Alright, so you still have Luke with the off. Oh, he missed again. Luke is heavy. He's 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 heavy. Yeah, and all Spitfires gets another free. Yeah, the more that I'm watching this, the more I'm just like, if you're like trying to move Spitfires over to main duelist, don't, don't. Yeah, just literally getting him stuck right behind the arrow. And a really nice position for Spitfires to look up to. Especially with the door open. And I guess no surprise that DIG would call a timeout at this point. Shopping 这连麦补偿也快拉起来了，具体还要再游戏中看啊。经济应该我看后面两个回合应该是都够的，够。OK，但是民居能不能起出来会成为一个问题。对的，就民居这个点，虽然说可能目前看来有一点点烧火棍，
Spitfire goes down here, it's still planted. They find Delby just outside, like the late clear from mid. No refreshers at the buff in A main, and you got one shocked out, no snake bites. I don't really like that Bunt just goes to peek and fight that, but I understand it. Like, you don't have anything to work with, but I think that you can, like, play time a little bit more. You just hope to like uh, catch multiple people lining up, I guess. Yeah, this kill from TZH is pretty major. And I guess a really important trader came in from Nick actually from uh, Bunt just. I'm gonna slow fine for mid. This should be a dead give. Up. Like, this is a very China thing of just. It's very clear on where they're going. I mean, the reckoning is good. Like, it just makes fighting for these positions really hard. Alright, nice response from all gamers, though. Like, you lose the last round. The money is still really tight for DRG because they've been losing the last couple. So, all gamers are just like, yeah, let's. Let's carve it through. Why is it so close? Because all gamers are a good team. I, I, I don't think they're like playoffs. Potential, but I don't think DRG are either. Bukashi is the best aim in China. Um, certainly top three. I don't know who is the best aim, really. I have to think about it a bit more. Like, naturally, you want to say like Kung Kung or Chi Chu, but. RB's aim is crazy. I think, like, I don't know if it's. I feel like for me, Smoggy and Nobody are a little bit overrated for EDG. Springs, like, okay. Why use pretty good aim wise, too? Um, why are you has his moments? Stew, obviously. You'd have to do it by roll, just because there's so many like good aimers, and it's also like what do you constitute as like good aim, right? Like, is it being able to play stuff like uh, Guardian, Marshal, Operator, Outlaw? Is it a duelist being able to like jump into a site and flick onto a player, or is it like taking angels from distance? Respect Smoggy. Uh, I don't. I don't feel as bad about Smoggy as I do about nobody. And it's like I know that nobody's a good player, but I think that moving him to like be pure, like initiate a role, is kind of clipped his wings a little bit. Hate from eyes in the audience are oh, nice. I guess he'd be cheering for his attacking soul like teammates. Because uh, HFMI uh, was on a team with um, these two. And also the coach. Yeah, Guan is also insane. Life is also a good one too, yeah. I think Chu, yeah, the player that um, Tech just dropped had some pretty awesome aim as well. I'm trying to think of like players that just seem to get, like Martin has like low key some really good aim. I'm trying to think of like the underrated players that 
aren't like the stars of a roster that just win some crazy rounds because their like mechanics are good. Yeah, six all. You got a trip over here, like really is same setups. I think I prefer this wall though that goes across that uh, DRG were using in this one, but it might be just a pistol wall. They just know where he is and claim Beverly. Oh yeah, Viva for sure. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't say Viva earlier. Mm, I'm trying to go for everybody now. But FPX, I feel like we said everybody, EDG, Trace, Fung. Fung's aims is pretty, like, awesome. Like I think Vukashi is up there with just like aim skill. Like Vukashi was definitely like top three, but I couldn't tell you who the other two players like on that list are. You know? Why is he? Um. I think Wise, like Wise's mechanics are like good, but I think what makes Wise such a good duelist is like the game sense of being a duelist. Like the man doesn't give a shit if he's satcheling in with a judge and oh, finding up with his first team, right? Everybody's here though. The whole stack of eco weapons. So there's one. This is very like um, Sentinels inspired, I feel. Like a full classic eco. These guys are getting ready for the All Gamers Classic bundle so they can show it off. Which has been data mined, apparently. It's in the next patch. Or maybe not like in the next patch, but like there's stuff from the data mine in the next one. I just want to be careful with me saying that because I don't want it to sound like um like I'm saying that yeah we're getting the next patch for example. Xiao 真的好焦灼啊，这个分叉都没有拉开到两分过啊。嗯，You got the Viper Wall, Silver, and Cipher over here.马上狂潮，第二时间还是劝退了DRG。我们看一下，呃，我开始。I like this setup more, more from AG than what DRG were doing on defense.此时这一分只有他有钱能够降起，而且队伍很相信我卡鼠，他很有可能。Like having a harbor here to like cascade and stuff, and then maybe you have the poison cloud here too. I mean, they've used the poison cloud on attack to try and get across in holes, but the Euros like push past it. Well, the chances that the star player of League of Legends BLG is also called K Knight. I think they are both pronounced K Knight as well. I could be wrong on that though. Yeah, why is he like a superstar? But like coming into kickoff, I was like, I think Wisey's like on his like last legs. Spitfires is... Well, like why would you not just play him on Sentinel the whole time when he looks this good? Like I swear, like from the few rounds that he just gets like, he's got more kills on this map already than he probably has in the other two maps combined. Yeah, what I was saying is like in the um, the PTB patch, which is like 8.08, there's data mine stuff for the um, China classics in there. I don't know if that means that like for the next patch, 
the China skin's going to be in there or not? I don't think so. Feels like that'd be too early. And it also lines up for just being like end of April, start of May. Yeah, AG look good. Fikashi sure looks right for no armor, huh? It feels like he's just taking what uh, he's running with what SLK was doing with like half armor strats. He's like, fuck playing half armor. I'm just gonna play no armor. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm kind of surprised that like half armor still isn't as popular as it used to be. Because I don't think the outlaw as a gun has like moved the needle too much. I guess it's the threat that you could just do that that could cost you. China have cracked in, but a bit lost in fundamentals, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's. Language barrier is one of the aspects. The other is ju it's just like mental experience. Like, there's so much pressure that goes on to the players from orgs, like just the, like families, like the culture side of it, right? I'm not saying that it's all like you've brought dishonor upon our family if you lose a series. It's not quite that deep, but. These guys, like, I don't think the word burnout exists in Mandarin. I gotta keep an eye on the time. Yeah, it's one o'clock now. Spitfires looks better with his sunsets for sure. Like, it's a small sample size, but like, this is absolutely his best map. And it's not just like he's winning good, like, mechanical fights. Like, he's, he's winning with this brain. I can't remember which coach said it, but it, uh, it might be a fucking Wahujin thing. Well, like, win the first duel with your aim. Uh, sorry, win the first duel with your brain, win the second with your aim. So, like, make sure that, like, every first duel that you have, like, you're being very, like, intentional, like, finding a good timing, using utility, combining with your, like, teammates well, utility wise. Bun was just not aware at all where he was. But they practice 60 nowadays for 10 months straight. I mean, I think it's such a. I think it's silly. Like, even with, like, game changers, I think there were some teams like Navi that would, like, practice for 12 hours, six days a week. And it's just. Really depends on what you're doing in those 12 hours, but that just seems way too much for me. You could absolutely be a top team in the world scrimming four times a day, five days a week. You have ample breaks around it, you have some VOD review, you have some server time. EDG vs JDG would be so interesting. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm going to miss it, like even like the first part of it. But they, like, I'm not too scared of like missing other ones in the future because I don't have many days where I'm casting VCT, uh, where I'm casting Polaris at the same time that China's on. I think it's like all like today and tomorrow, and then like twice more. Like a Sunday next week, and then a Saturday the week after, and then that's it. And I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be doing Polaris around VCT, so it's never gonna clash. That's the hope, at least. We'll never be putting Guan back on Killjoy so they can pick up. Yeah, I think so. Alright, Nick is in a one versus one now. Spike still hasn't been planted. 
有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有
It's so hard to predict China. I, again, I don't feel that that's. Four points. Can you hold the opportunity? I don't think I feel like it's easier to predict China than some other regions. I feel more comfortable predicting China than I would say Pacific. Like this is what I'm going to be wrong on, but like I'm definitely one of those people that's been very like anti DRG, I suppose. Like I've not been that like hot on them, even with them making top fours. Like, uh, like they just show up where it matters. Yeah, Delby's done good today. Like consistently top fragging for the team, but he's been playing sensible up until this map. Ticket开货了，来说实话，混烟效果会偏一般的。如果对手压根就没有打算出来去踩这个前点，对的。这个回合的话，DRG是没有A通的位置可以去打了。接下来他们要去做怎么样的选择呢？先顺顺水推舟
Long series too. Our prediction is already broken from yesterday. Abi is Thanos. Um, yeah, yeah, it's consistently. I think the tech were the better team now in that series. I, I'll show you mine. So I was wrong on this one, but I was right on these two. But like these were close series. This was close. So with any luck, this is adding into it too. Has nobody got like 15 points? So everybody that's done pickums for China is wrong somewhere already. Right, what time is it? I'll probably have to like I'll see if I can watch for a little bit of it. But it depends like how quick the turnaround is from like the map starting. Yeah, please, AG, just play Spitfires on Sentinel full time. Please. It's just too good not to. MVP is getting all the Spitfires. Pinch the Pinch for 262 KD 1.9. Pinch the Pinch for 172. On the other maps, he was like bottom fragging on all of them, and then the map that he plays like his role on. Let's see. Yeah, Spitfires bottom. Spitfires not quite bottom, but close enough. And then Breeze just. So, generally, the Spitfires in the numbers are more dominant. It's crazy how Xion actually only gets like 10 kills here. I'm pretty sure all of these were like part of the multi kills together in A main. Outside of that, like not really too much. I think Xion should just play Astra here. I think that would suit that team so much more. I feel like this is like the like China meta, maybe the Pacific meta to an extent too, where this. This just feels like so omnipresent. Like post plants not good for DRG at all. But pistols won from all gamers too. How many did they get the whole series? Yeah, both of them. Oh no, they didn't get both of them there. So one all, one all, one all. One all. Yeah, it's not bad. 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 等于说是一个让一追二，而且是在非常非常极限。前两张地图甚至都打满了。如果你说变成了一个二比零，最后是第二季的一个二比零，也是完全有可能的。但是我们看到了 A G 的选手相当的坚韧。今天除了他们的战术执行以外，枪法也是依然非常在线的。有一个冷知识啊，从 Stage One 也就是第一赛段开赛到现在。Maybe we'll wait for about half an hour because the ticket is only for one match. Wait, they have tickets for China that are just for one series. 好，也是可以看一下我们的赛后采访。That's kind of crazy. Not for the full day. I guess you have got like more dedicated fans and stuff. 欢迎来到赛后采访，我是俊俊。首先恭喜 A 俊拿下了本场比赛的胜利。我们也是邀请到了 Swan Nine 选手来接受我们的采访。Hello， 九哥，跟大家打声招呼吧。Hello， 大家好。嗯。也是恭喜你们拿下了今天的这场复仇之战。而且我想说，对于 A 俊，对于你个人来说，应该都有着特别的意义。那现在感受怎么样呢？呃，首先是赢了比赛，感觉很开心吧。然后今天这样顺利，因为我知道赛前有很多外界的质疑声音，质疑我们的实力是不如别人。那我也想说，今天这样顺利也算是回应了一部分质疑。Okay, okay. 而且赛前也说做好自己嘛，那今天确确实实是做到了，而且带给我们非常大的惊喜。那你们是在赛前有做什么特别的准备吗？能够让你们有着如此大的提升？呃，因为我们起点赛就输给第二。Used to be for all day, kind of strange now. 不是我们整体的战术。This is a good way of gauging how popular people are. 个人失误，个人细节走位的时候导致我们整体输掉。所以我们这个休赛期也是我们去抠每每个人的个人的一些细节问题。然后我也希望每个人都做好自己的同时，那我觉得这个五个人的组合就是没有问题的。嗯，没错，做好自己这四个字真的是贯穿始终了。那觉得今天的表现，你们发挥出了自己百分之多少的实力呢？我觉得应该是百分之七十吧。哦、oh. ，如果是百分百的话，我感觉图一应该能赢的。十一比七领先之后，感觉有很多决策和对你的交流就停滞了，所以导致被翻盘了。那我们一起期待之后百分百发挥实力的 A G 能够带给我们怎样的惊喜？
OK， 嗯，而且现在队内也是发生了一个位置的轮换嘛，由小火龙打决斗，交臂来。Oh yeah, there's like America's on today as well. 这样的调整。Long day. 呃，因为训练赛里面 ，DLB 对自己的狙击枪产生一些自我的怀疑，然后小火龙龙哥他又对自己狙击枪觉得很有自信，所以我们就进行了一个位置上的互换，然后训练赛里面效果不错，我们就沿用到比赛了。没错，今天的正式比赛效果也是打得非常的好。那最后一题呢，是由我们欧阳欧盟爱影精灵带来的粉丝提问。其实赛前小火龙有说过，从来都不觉得你们是什么所谓的第六人队伍啊，每个人都能够站出来带领大家往前走。那今天的胜利就是最好的证明。那有没有什么话？ I mean, actually, yeah, like it felt like yesterday the turnaround for games was a little bit longer than it was for like kickoff. 之前的比赛打得不尽容易，但没有你们的支持也不会有今天的胜利。谢谢大家。What was a Pacific like? What's that looking like at the moment? Derek picked up the first map. Thirteen eight on Sunset. Okay. Have we seen Team Secret play Sunset from like kickoff? I don't know if we did. Just when you think. Team Secret has got some momentum. Buzz just shuts it right down in that round. Not much time to work with here. Has to grab the spike and plant it immediately. It's a lot of space to actually go and do this, though. Look at the player count, Jeremy Zion. Seeing if everyone's going to push out. Oh, he fucked it up. He messed it up. Unlucky. He says Delby is not confident about his up, but Spitfires is, so they exchanged ups. Oh, sorry. If you were translating the interview, I should have left you to do it. It's done now. Delby's not confident about his opposite Spitfires is. I mean... I guess play less around the Operator then. Like, you can still play, like, Sentinel Op. Like, look at Yampy and what he was doing with, like, Liquid. Um... A lot of stuff that you need to be careful about. I just... Sorry, it's just this music video is just copyright striking like crazy. Also, there's like a little bit of audio from the VMix stream, which I didn't realize was playing in the background. It was very quiet. Spitfires used to be rare atom duelists. Uh, yeah, but like, I, it just didn't look good today. Like, Wendell B's like doing consistently strong stuff. Like, it just sort of felt like Spitfires seemed much more comfortable being on the Sentinel. I don't really know how to like gauge it, but just the decisions that uh, Spitfires was using to find picks around the map were uh, amazing. It feels like if you leave Spitfires to kind of go and serve up stuff for themselves, that they might be able to like come in and like be creative with finding openings. Are there any roster changes for JDG? Yes. Um. The main one is that they brought in YH Chen, who used to be at Attacking Soul. He was their IGL uh, played a lot of like flex roles. Pretty much would play everything, but he'd like, I think he like secondary IGL'd, but I could be wrong on that. Like the igl situation for um, Attacking Soul was a little bit odd, but they've benched Jay Kuro, so. They got red kids for China as well. I guess they would do. I think that's fairly like accurate. Way about gaming does exist anymore. It's funny that you have the um, game changers EDG team over all gamers Tyloo and Nova. Is there anybody else that's super down here? Like wolves out on this list. But yeah, like rankings like this are always going to be a little bit janky, especially when you don't have like API data to go across. He's called God of Odin. Oh, because he's just an Odin sprayer. Like, I remember like some good moments from YH from Attacking Soul, but he was just kind of one of those like typical supporting players that like you never really noticed the word that they were doing.
plays Odin on Heaven. Heaven of which map? Like Lotus? Like a Lotus? Oh, like uh, Ascent, right? It's the only other one that I can think of. Um, I'm going to go grab some food as well, just so I've eaten and stuff. But yeah, be right back. Haven? Oh, well, I mean, Haven's not in the map pool at the moment, but I mean, when he was playing, it was, so I guess. I haven't done my like connections and stuff today. I'll probably do it like in a break or something uh, for casting. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to like go over. I think so. I'm seeing if there's a like post per match thread, but I guess not. Yeah, the China thingy, but there's only one comment in there. All right, 122 comments here, one there. Like, eventually, China will get to a point where it can, like, cover the region. I just wonder if it's going to be, like... If they're, like international audience is going to care about china because right now you're not giving them a reason to care because you don't have anything for an english broadcast i guess i'm not sure how you really like uh, even if like do you even prioritize it i guess this one i'm not really like too sure on Mm, I probably should go. I'm sad that I missed this series, though. Um, what series tomorrow would I potentially miss? Wolves versus FPX? Hmm. I'm less fussed about this series, but missing this one is a tragedy. What, um, what day is Clash next week? I think it's Sunday that I'm casting. Right, this is where we are. Yeah, Sunday I miss, so next, well, it's a Sunday. Tylee vs. Edward Gaming I miss. But like buff series, like hopefully this is a closer series. I'm gonna let it go get some food. Well, I mean, it's like I'm gonna go cast, that's a problem. Yeah, I'll head off in like five, so that should be good. So I can either like host uh, where I'm casting, or I can just host the main stream. 
I guess it's like the the better thing for me to do. Yeah, these breaks, uh, maybe just because there's like more of a break, but it feels like it's longer. I'm just trying to get the right stream. Yeah, I'll do this now. Uh, it's a shame we didn't get to catch any of it, but like, can't be helped. Um, <clears throat> hopefully it doesn't happen too much in the future, but it's just a shame that it's all like kind of clashed into one. But uh, yeah, I'll host that and send that across now. So at least you'll be able to like watch it along. I think what we will do though, like if people miss this game, like I'm gonna definitely like watch back the VOD and try and watch as much of the game as I can like off stream. But yeah, we'll be able to like do that, I guess. But yeah, sorry to cut it early. Kind of out of my hands, but like, gotta do the work and all that jazz. But thanks for watching. It was a really good first series. And yeah we'll catch back up tomorrow it's trace versus nova which should be more faster than the previous series that we've had so far but i guess we'll see on that front uh, thanks for watching i'll see you all tomorrow bye bye